It's time for the WMIX Sports Basketball Showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Featuring the Waltonville Spartans, Weber Trojans, Woodlawn Cardinals, Wayne City Indians, and Cesar Valier Red Devils. The showcase is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body. Rolly Excavating, Newell Furniture, and the General Store in Woodlawn. Red Lake College, it's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu and by Coach House Garages, Ford Square, King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Batters Box in Woodlawn, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, State Farm Agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank with the Coach House Garages pregame show. The showcase starts now. Welcome in the North Clay Community High School in the town of Louisville, Illinois. As tonight, a championship game of the 85th Annual Midland Trail Conference Tournament will take place between the Woodlawn Cardinals and the Odin Eagles. A very pleasant Saturday evening, wherever you may be listening in on WMIX 94.1 FM or online at WMIXports.com. This is the Coach House Garages pregame show. If you're in need of a garage, protect your car, prize, possessions, Coach House Garages has the building for you. Call Daryl Sheridan. 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. I'm Danny Zawinski alongside tonight. Back again. Gave you some time off. Come back. Mike Richardson, nice to have you back. It's title time again for the sixth year in a row for the Woodlawn Cardinals. Absolutely. Glad to be back in atmosphere here at the North Clay. Always, always look forward to doing the conference championship game here. Woodlawn has had quite a bit of success in this tournament. When Woodlawn has taken the floor, they have always had success. Of course, Odin getting ready to take the floor, and Odin has always kind of been around in this conference and been doing things, and they will take the floor here, minus some players. Woodlawn on the other side, minus one as well. But we got both teams warming up. We'll go through a scoreboard update, and we'll get some scores in right out of the gate. There are a lot of them already in the book at Nashville today. It was Nashville over Freeburg, 67-61. Ever at West Frankfort, Johnson City beat Vienna, 58-51. At Litchfield, Payne loses to Roxanne, 83-69. Hillsboro beat Greenville in overtime, 62-56. At the BIT today, three games. Pinckneyville, Ed Sesser, Valera, 56-54. Oakville, Edge Benton, 46-44. And Hamilton County lost to Carlisle, 48-29. The game you just heard on WMIX, Effingham beat Mount Vernon, 54 54- to 42 for third place at the Salem Invitational Tournament. The scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. See why State Farm insures more drivers than Geico and Progressive combined. Great service and discounts like a good neighbor. State Farm agent Scott Owens is there. The WMI Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler, have brought us to Louisville. We'll take our first break and come back talk a little bit more about this tournament. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. A coach house garage is money well spent on craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments. Don't cut corners on your garage. It adds value to your home. That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages. Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs or they'll build one to your design. For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon or go online to coachhousegarages.com. More than just a garage. More than just a garage. It's a Coach House. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank. Community First Bank, the title sponsor of high school sports on WMIX. Make your own great play when you open a Community First Bank free high yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one member FDIC. Danny Zawinski with Mike Richardson alongside. We welcome you into the Coach House Garage's pregame show. If you're looking for a garage builder to build a quality garage at a fair price with a five year written warranty, and financing available in a coach house garage is for you. Call Daryl Sheridan at 244-1061 for a free on-site estimate. This tournament 
is in its 85th year, Mike. Ashley Schertz was with me on Thursday night. He found the stat that this is the second oldest conference in the state of Illinois, and teams like North Clay, Clay City, have been in it since day one. You just don't find that anymore with high school teams. No, absolutely not. And, I mean, there's a big rumor mill happening now. You know, we're talking on the way over here about some changes that may be happening down the road. And, boy, you look at something that's established and you get a conference name and you keep it for that length of time. And what's unique is some conferences do it and some don't, but they have the conference tournament involved. And, you know, and have it at the site. This site has been here ever since we've been in this tournament. And it's sort of centralized in some of their areas. It's a longer drive for Woodlawn fans and Waltonville fans. But, you know, just having things the same, just remotely say 85 years together is a major accomplishment. 85 years together. Of course, the girls' side, there are only five teams this year playing basketball, and three of those were newbies as far as the conference go, Wayne City, Weber, and Woodlawn. On the boys' side, more teams involved. And, you know, you look at the consolation game, the ninth-place game went to Grayville, 57-46 over Weber. Those are two relatively new teams. And then you go into last night and you look at what trophy games went out last night. Sisney lost to North Clay, 37-33. North Clay and Sisney, two teams are in it before the others got in. And then Waltonville beat Wayne City for third place, 54-43. It's kind of unique and ironic because when the teams jumped into this, the thought was, well, these new teams from the Mid-South hardly be able to compete. But South Central got out, things got turned around, and it's been obvious that Woodlawn, Waltonville, Weber, and Wayne City have competed quite nicely in this conference. Very much so. I and mean, when you look at it, and we do have an older program from a few years back where they listed a lot of the champions in South Central. Oh, my. What a run they put on. They won uh, just going off top of our head. We were trying to figure 8 out of 9 or 10 out of 12, something of that nature, uh, conference championships in a row, and had a lot of success. And, you know, Woodlawn came in, Waltonville came in, and uh, one and two in the conference their first year together. Waltonville went away for a while. Now they're back. But, no, take your hats off to the old conference guys of Woodlawn, Waltonville, Wayne City, Weber. They put up some big wins in this conference and in this conference tournaments as well. Yeah, big wins, big times, and that was a great job done here. Of course, this tournament over the years, South Central dominated, got out a couple of years ago, and, of course, Woodlawn has dominated 17 wins in a row in this tournament. We'll take our second break here on the Coach House Garage. It's pregame show. We'll remind you that coming up, the starting lineups will be brought to you by the batter's box located in Woodlawn. Starting on March 3rd, baseball and softball lessons will begin. It'll be $12 an hour for 6- to 14-year-olds. Give Scott Smith a call at 316-1437 as a sponsor at the batter's box says the starting lineup. Let's take a break and come back. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals basketball on WMIX. Mount Vernon is home to many wonderful people and things, and that includes quality cardiac care from Dr. Ruzek Ibrahim. A skilled cardiologist, Dr. Ibrahim's training and scientific accomplishments have earned his designation as a Fellow of the American College of Cardiology. His services range from preventative care to the treatment of advanced heart conditions. For an appointment with Dr. Ibrahim at Crossroad Specialty Clinic, call 241-9071 or visit in person at 4113 South Water Tower, Mount Vernon. Did your bank recently stop offering free checking? People's National Bank still has free checking with the added convenience of a Visa check card, online banking, bill pay, money pass, and mobile banking. Stop by People's National Bank located at 413 South 34th Street in Mount Vernon today for details on how to get your free checking account. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, non-usage fees may apply. Is your concrete driveway or maybe your sidewalk cracked, unsightly, or even non-existent? Let Rollies Excavating and Cement Finishing in Woodlawn be a part of your home or business renovation in the new year. A true family-owned and operated local business, Rollies Excavating specializes in dirt excavation and hauling, residential and commercial concrete jobs, too. There's nothing these guys can't do. Get a free quote by calling Luke Rowley at 2 Three seven zero five five two. That's two three seven zero five five two. Rollies excavating and cement finishing. They get dirty so you don't have to. Call Luke today. Back aches, bad hips, rickety knees. Why not try aquatic therapy? The Red Lake College Aquatic Center has more than a swimming pool. Try a six lane, seventy five foot lap pool along with a whirlpool ten feet in diameter and a ten foot by twenty hydrotherapy pool. Aquatic therapy is very affordable. In many cases, the tuition is waived entirely. With special access and dressing areas for the elderly and physically challenged, getting in the water is easy. Experts are on hand to assist with various areas of aquatic fitness and rehab. Call 437-5321 extension 1207 or visit rlc.edu. 
This is the Showcase, presented by Community First Bank. Woodlawn and Ogden will play tonight for the 85th Annual Midland Trail Conference Tournament as we welcome you back into the Coach House Garage's pregame show. Denny Zawinski and Mike Richardson alongside the Old Eagles come in with a record 11-2. and two. One of those two losses is to the Woodlawn Cardinals back on December 17th. That was at Woodlawn 60-29. to 29. Had a good start at the Mulberry Girls Tournament, then had the weather issues that canceled some games, and then... What happened was they had a lot of time off their last game, December 20th, and they didn't play along again until about the January 14th time, 15, 16, maybe even later. They still haven't missed a beat, looking very good with all that time off in the middle of the schedule. And a problem their school has is the fact that if you don't have school, you don't practice either, and that made it tough. Uh, Coach Pink Bone alluded to that. I talked to him before the game started tonight. He said, you know, just missed a lot of time. He said other teams did too. He's not using it as an excuse, but... You know, they responded really well and got off to a good start. And he said just health has been an issue with them all year long. There'll be a player play tonight that didn't play the first time against the Cardinals and one will not play against the Cardinals in tonight's championship game. So weather and injuries has been a big foe for the Oakland Eagles. Well, it's kind of like paying taxes on the other side of the ledger. Woodlawn is 14-2. and two. You know you're going to have to do it. You know you're going to have to battle Woodlawn in this tournament. Woodlawn got in this conference in 08-09. That was the same year they got second in state. The next year they went to the Super. The next year they got third. Of course, 12. They win it. They've only lost one game in those six, five and a half going on six years. That was to Wayne City in 12. Then they didn't lose a game the rest of the year, winning that Class 1A state championship. Have never lost here in this tournament. Have come close a couple of times. Uh, South Central come to mind. Waltonville a couple of times come to mind. But realistically, 17 wins in a row, looking for number 18 here tonight, and six titles in a row. It's unheard of, especially at the high school level. You can dominate that long, that much in one tournament. And it's momentum. And it's the confidence that it just breeds itself into winning. I mean, to walk by the bench and just talk to a couple of boys, as we was coming back up here in the booth, and my word, I mean, they're just confident. I mean, they're knocking down shots here, warming up, getting a good stretch on, and they feel good about themselves, and they feel good about this conference and, and playing in this gym. They played a lot of basketball in this gym over the years, and they shoot it pretty well here, um, and they know they're going to get entertained with a, a pretty good-sized crowd, uh, always has been in the past. And Woodlawn really out in force tonight here on a Saturday night. Well, so and, that's you know, a big thing for them. And you know, Woodlawn comes over here and there's an expectation, of course, as Woodlawn comes back on the floor. But there's an expectation of, I, I compare this streak of 17 in a row kind of to the Pinckneyville streak of the BIT. Now, it's nowhere near that. As Pinckneyville went on to win seven, eight years in a row at the BIT. Until last year, lost two. They're going for 5-0 and again tonight. So that would run that streak up to like 8 out of 9, 9 out of 10, something like that to BIT. Something similar here. It's only three games, but yet still very a majestic streak that you won't see very often, very much anymore in this day and age of sports. How many times do we talk about you see teams, and this is grade school, high school, college? It doesn't matter. When you have rivals involved, and when you're in a conference, trust me, good, bad, or indifferent, you're going to have rivals. And going on the road in conferences and winning, mm-hmm. and especially knowing that you're going to have your conference tournament. Not at the neutral side, and every year it's going to be on one of your biggest rivals. That is makes this streak even the more impressive uh, that they're doing this stuff on the road. Now, if you take this and rotate it with a crown of the regular season, you get the host. I can see that. Right. But doing this here with the hostile environment they've been accustomed to the last few years, this is very impressive on the Woodlawn Cardinals' right. part. Very impressive as, as Woodlawn and Odin warm up now. We're about two minutes to start for this one. You can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. There's a great way to keep up with score updates from all around Southern Illinois. There's 2,741 boys and girls tournaments going on tonight, wrapping up, and probably a handful more next week, conference wise. I know um, the LIC boys tournament will run next week. I know the GEC tournament will run. The SEC is going to go, I believe, but they still have theirs. So uh, it's one of those deals. It's a busy time of year. Follow us. Follow Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Another way is we have a scoreboard update every night posted at WMIXSports.com every day throughout the high school season from August till June. As long as there are high school sporting events going on, we will give you a scoreboard update. Last night we included the Mount Vernon Special Olympics basketball team. We also got a big win at Carbondale last night, played at the arena. So that's at WMIXSports.com. You're streaming home for high school sports on WMIX as well as a scoreboard update every night. It'll be another massive one here this evening as both teams head to their benches. 
As we get ready to go another time, Woodlawn going for 18 wins in a row in this tournament, six titles in a row. Seniors have never lost. Junior sophomores have never lost. Guys on the bench in sweats have never seen Woodlawn lose in this tournament. Oh, Jason Hateman shaved tonight. That's nice to see as he turns around and shows us. We're giving him a hard time. Both teams on the bench. We're going to get ready to go for the anthem when we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the opening tip. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals basketball in the showcase on WMIX. There's still time to save during the cleanup sale at Newell Furniture and the General Store in Woodlawn. Get an extra 15 to 20% off your favorite furniture from Lazy Boy, Flex Steel, Sealy Posturputic Bedding, Broyhill, Universal, Bedrooms, Dining Rooms, and more. Clean up on savings at Newell's General Store with 75% off all remaining holiday, 50% off all Gym Shore collection, lotions, scarves, purses, plus 15 to 25% off everything else. Newell's, cleaning up to save you more. Complete. That's the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois with a full sports medicine clinic, state-of-the-art MRI, a spine care team that focuses on pain management, arthroscopy specialists offering total joint replacement, hand surgery, and complete rehabilitation services. Doctors Chow, Hool, Ahn, Kowalski, Freehill, and Smith stand ready to serve you today with offices in Mount Vernon and Centralia and satellite offices in Benton and Nashville. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. The batter's box in Woodlawn has 17-foot ceilings with a half basketball court, full-length batting cage, pitching machine, and climate control for year-round use. The batter's box is a great place for basketball, baseball, or softball practice with active clinics and lessons in the spring and fall. Contact Scott Smith at 316-1437 to reserve the batter's box for your team or party. Speaking of parties, plan your next birthday party with the batter's box. Located at 614 North Main in Woodlawn. Call 316-1437 for prices and availability. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank. Time for the starting lineups. Brought to you by the Batters Box and Woodlawn. Perfect for your child's birthday party or a party of any kind, like a garage sale, birthday party, baby shower included, $50 for two hours, 17 foot high ceilings. Perfect for inflatables. Give Scott Smith a call at 316 1437. I'll turn it over to Mr. Mike Richardson. For the starting lineup. Thank you very much, Danny, and for those Golden Eagles. They come in a nice contest with the 11 and 2 record on the season. They're going to start two seniors. One will be wearing number 10, Ike Markham. And the other one, number 35, Ryan Neopotter. Then they go three juniors, and they'll get a start tonight out of Chase Horton. He is healthy, and he plays against the Cardinals tonight. He will be wearing number 15. Number 23, Devin Williams. Rounding out their lineup will be number 25, Gavin Wood. The Eagles are coached by Mike Pinkbone and assisted by James Williams. And for the Woodlawn Cardinals, coming into tonight's contest with a 14 and 2 record, their usual lineup will be a 6 3 sophomore wearing number 22, Ross Owens. A 6 3 senior, number 24, Chase Phelps. A 6 foot senior, number 30, Logan Wallerman. Another six-foot senior, number 31, Jason Hateman. And their lineup is rounded up with a 6'3", senior, number 35, Jake Robinson. The Cardinals, coached by Shane Whitzel and assisted by Scott Owens. And those are your starting lineup. Starting lineup is brought to you by the batter's box in Woodlawn, a great space for ball practice or parties. Equipped with a half basketball court, full-length batting cage with pitching machine, and... Climate control for your own use. Give Scott Smith a call at 316-1437 to reserve it today. The Woodlawn Cardinals will be introduced, as you said. A nice crowd has made the trek east here to North Clay High School. Again, Woodlawn playing in his title game for the sixth year in a row. A nice crowd from Odin as well. And some neutral onlookers, obviously a cheerleading award to be given out tonight. All tournament team as well. So a lot of things going on here when this one's over. 
Woodlawn right now. And getting introduced to the crowd, we'll tell you about Facebook.com slash WMI Exports. We'll be putting on some new material later on, new content. Give us a like at Facebook.com slash WMI Exports. Also, Saturday Sports Show was on this morning, as it is every Saturday morning, from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. on AM 940, also online at WMIXports.com. Every Saturday, guest talk and at Sports social media question of the week. Saturday Sports Show every Saturday morning, as we're going to get a picture and put on Facebook later on, a picture of the Cardinals. For every, that ready to go. For everybody to see. Everybody. Woodlawn cheerleaders are finishing up their floor routine. The Odin Eagles will be dressed in their red road jerseys, trimmed in white. The Woodlawn Cardinals will be in their home white jerseys, trimmed in red and blue. As we play here tonight, the third game today on WMIX of high school basketball. What we do best, bring you high school basketball game coverage. Of course, the first game this morning was the Melbourne Lady Rams on AM versus Collinsville Carbondale. Then, of course... Just, just now, just completed, Mount Vernon and Effingham for third place at Salem. And then, of course, now, Woodlawn and Odin as both teams come out to center court to shake hands and get things ready to go here tonight for this championship game, the 85th annual from the Midland Trail Conference Tournament. We get ready to roll. Referee will step in. Chase Phelps will jump center against Chase Horton. Battle of Chases here as we get ready to go. Veteran crew on hand, tip controlled by the Woodlawn Cardinals. That's how this one will begin. Hateman across the timeline, left side to Ross Owens. Owens back to Hateman. Owens in a 1-3-1, it looks like. Phelps in the corner. Left elbow, Owens. Left block, Wallerman. Back to Owens. Over on the right side, Hateman. Now he'll throw back to Owens. Left wing, left corner, Logan Wallerman. Back to Owens against the zone to Hateman. Shot fake, nothing there. Now in the corner, Phelps. Phelps goes baseline, cut off. Now goes top of the key to Owens. Owens now left block, left runner. Glass no good. Blocking foul coming on Potter. His first, team's first. Good pass right there through the middle. Ross Owens had a step, just couldn't get it to fall, but it was on the floor anyway. Owens triggers out in the left corner to Robinson, the old give and go that time. They lose the pick and roll, didn't use it. Phelps right wing. Phelps left block, Owens left again, and Woodlawn takes the lead early, 2 nothing. On a good no-looker from Chase Phelps. Margaret will bring it into the front court on the right wing. Margram has it on the right side, and we'll look over the defense. Man to man, of course, from the Cardinals. Left wing pass now to Knee Potter. Knee Potter been at Odin for about 20 years, it seems like. Right wing to Wood. Top of the key off the hands of Margram. He'll recover near the timeline and reset the offense. Margram goes right wing or left wing. Holding above his head is Williams. Stephen Williams surveys the offense. Now in the lane, tipped and tipped away. Robinson had it lost. It. Williams tries to get it back and does in the back court. Nice hustle play, Devin Williams. He comes in the front court, left wing to Gavin Wood. Skip pass, right wing. Margram for a three in the lead. Good. Ike Margram knocks down a three, and David has the slingshot loaded up. 3 2 Odin. 2 2 1 press. Aitman goes up the right wing over the head of Robinson. That's the turnover. And it's done first one for Woodlawn. Always bank on your hometown team. Community First Bank, home of the one account featuring free checking and high-yield interest. Member FDIC. Margram into the front court on the right wing. Comes over to the left, top of the key. Now still on the dribble. Phelps will switch. And Margram throws right wing to Williams. Williams back out top of the key to Wood. Over on the left side to Knee Potter. Knee Potter with the high black socks. Turns top of the key pass to Williams, guarded by Phelps. Williams goes to the left on the dribble, left wing Margram on the Cardinal logo, top of the key to Wood. Wood will come down the lane, jump stop in the lane around Hayman, trickles one over the rim, and Odin is out early, 5-2. Really impressive here moving the basketball, and Woodlawn did a great job in their first meeting of shutting down the three-point opportunities. Hayman, Wallerman, Owens, middle of the lane, right block, Robinson, left, good. Mr. Robinson gets on the board. We welcome you and you, Chris Hugo, Jared Shaner, and Jeff Crow. Heading back from Salem, turning it, shooting in as that ball hits the stage in front of us. I thought it was tipped off Odin. Oh, well. What do I know? They'll inbound right in front of us. We sit on the stage. A great hospitality from Ben Parley, head coach at North Clay for the boys, and the staff here at North Clay. Three ball from the left corner on the inbound. Williams, no good. Bargram on the rebound. Margram back to Williams. He gets around to the lane, throws up a shot. No good. Rebound, Ross Owens. Owens will bring it into the front court, top of the key. 
Foul looks and got Hateman in the right corner. Holds above his head over to Logan Wallerman to Owens. Owens top of the key. Wallerman three on the way. Rattles off to Mark. Rebound to Odin. Knee Potter will bring it up in the black socks. Knee high, top of the key. To the elbow, leads off behind him for Williams. Now to Margram, top of the key. Margram grills right wing to Knee Potter as he holds and looks. Knee Potter will look as he holds. Now he'll go off the screen. Doesn't like to use the ball. Screen ball tipped in the backcourt by Phelps. Williams will chase it down. The W Mike Sports Mobile Studios driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. That's how we all got to this one. Huh. And this way we go top of the key. Left wing to Williams. Williams goes top of the key. Margram three on the way from Margram. Front of the iron. And Phelps skies for the rebound. Grabs it one-handed with authority. And drops it off for Owens. Four and a half to go in the first. Five, four. Woodlawn trails Odin. Hateman with it on the left wing. Corner Phelps at the waist. One dribble tipped out of bounds. It'll be Woodlawn basketball. Call Luke Rowley with Rowley's Excavating and Concrete Finishing. Your sidewalks or driveways, they specialize in commercial and residential work for the busy business owner and homeowner. Give Luke a call at 237-0552. Owens over to Hateman. Top of the key. Three ball on the way. It's good. Jason Hateman gives the Woodlawn Cardinals the lead at 7-5. That's the guy that needs to get it stroking from the outside the rest of the season. Got a bird's eye view of that one when it left his fingertips. Looked good all the way. Margram top of the key. Man-to-man Woodlawn. Four minutes to go in the first. Cardinals lead Odin 7-5. Top of the key. Left wing reverse Margram. They're looking for Williams underneath. Could get it to him. Knee potter top of the key. Left right wing to Wood. Wood goes top of the key. Williams now left wing Margram. Nothing doing. Left right side to Wood. His three over the top of Hateman rattles the iron. No good. Robinson with a rebound. Gets it to Owens. Cardinals will come into the front court. Ross to the right side will call the offense. Now throws it to Hateman. Left wing to Phelps on the left corner. Phelps has to retrieve it. Was thinking that Hateman was going to shoot it. Such a good fake. Everybody was out. Owens to Logan Wallerman in the right corner. Now back to Owens. Is Odin still in this 1-3-1 zone. Owens to Hateman, left wing. Now in the corner, Phelps, his mid-range jumper up and in. Chase Phelps knocks down another. It's 9-5 Cardinals as the shooting touch comes this way. Williams across the timeline, leaves it behind for Wood, top of the key, back to Williams, right wing, guarded by Phelps. Running the offense, they set Knee Potter out top of the key, left wing to Wood. They pop Margram out top of the key, Knee Potter for a three over Logan Wallman, off the mark, rebound Robinson, the free throw line. Shuffle hand off to Owens, left wing. Owens holds now to Hateman between the circles, left wing to Owens. Ross will look over the defense with 2.45 to go in the first. Right side, Jason Hateman, box pass, tipped and stolen away by Williams. And Odin has it down four as they come in the front court towards us on the stage. There goes Williams down the lane, running layup too strong, rebound Phelps. Phelps will come into the front court on the dribble. A lot of feeling out here early on in this process to Phelps to Hateman, back to Phelps. Phelps goes to Owen. Left side, look now to backdoor lob to Phelps on the baseline, nothing home. Phelps pops back out to Owens, top of the key to Hateman. Hateman right corner. Now to Phelps on the block. Dangerous pass. Logan Wallman there and scores. Not how you draw it up, Mike, but it worked anyway. Nice play right there, but I tell you, Woodlawn very proficient right now starting this game under passing game. Kirk Hacker listening in as he heads to Salem tonight. There goes Margram to the rim. Got around Owens, but was afraid of the block shot. Owens got his hand in the way, and Margram couldn't get it over the top of him. Phelps the board. Hateman is bring him to the front court to Owens on the right wing. Ross for a three on the way. It's good. Woodlawn has caught fire here. Timeout. Odin with 1.40 to go. And Mike started out slow early, but Woodlawn found the heat here in the shooting end. They've been very patient. And everybody's sharing the ball right now. Uh, everybody scores. All five starters are scored right now. So, uh, Brett Harris is getting ready to come into the ball game. We all know he can light it up from outside. So, Woodlawn just taking what they're getting. They're running a four-out offense and getting it inside. Nice stick knock inside. If not, kick it out. Knock down a couple threes or two out of three behind the arc. Had a very good start by the Woodlawn Cardinals. Mike and I will pick a Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game when this one is over. Why wait hours and other emergency rooms? Crossroads Community Hospital's emergency department pledges you'll be seen by a physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. Uh, that's a joke. We have an inside joke on the way over about pledge and the word pledges, but we'll play on here. We'll get to it later. Knee Potter to Margaret on the left wing. Got around Owens to the rim layup. No good. Too strong. Rebound to Hateman in the right cor- left corner to Owens. Back to Hateman. Jason will bring it across the timeline. 
he the newly shaved look. I gave him a hard time the other night about it. I guess he had to get rid of it. Oh, oh, it's through a fast pass stolen away by Wood. He'll bring it into the front court for the Eagles. Down the lane, he comes. Layup off the glass. No good foul, Brett Harris. And when Odin gets up and down the floor, spreads Wood on that a little bit, they got some guys that get to the rim here early on. Yeah, they're going to take it to the rack, that's for sure. And then they're going to run a spot offense on the outside part. So if they get the penetration with the chance to draw the foul, they'll take it. If not, they'll run people back to that three-point line, and they all can shoot the three. And that first free throw is good. If you're tired of corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Dix, Ina, Mount Vernon, and Woodlawn. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Woodlawn leads 14-6. Odin going for the extra point here after the touchdown. Super Bowl terms a week from tomorrow. Free throw no good, 14-6. That's why they can't get rid of the extra points in the NFL. Owens with it to Renault on the right corner, even though they only missed five out of over 1,200 kicks for extra points this year. Harris on the left wing, loads up against the zone. No good. Rebound tipped around. D. Potter has it for the Eagles. Under a minute to go, 14-6. He comes down the lane behind the back over on the left corner. Shot from Horton up, no good. Knee Potter gets the rebound. He's in there. Shot glass, no good. Tipped around. Ooh, Harris got the rebound to Owens. Owens in the front court to Renault off the left side. Fakes the pass. I'm not sure that was a travel. I thought that was a pretty good move. 39.2 seconds left in the first quarter. Renault turns it over on the staff. So Odin will have the last shot here. And they also have the last, or I should say not the last, they also have the possession arrow to start the first second quarter. And there, down the lane, goes Mr. Gavin Wood. Got around Ross Owens and scores in a foul. You can't let Odin get into your body or get in that close, Mike. They're going to score more times than not. Well, I think that right there is just an absolute case of Woodlawn settling for Odin going for the last shot. No defense will effort whatsoever. And he just politely goes down the middle lane, misses the free throw. So get picks up another foul on the Cardinals. When Long gets lucky, as the Cardinals dodge a bullet there. Across the timeline, Phelps down the lane with a running shot. No good. Tipped around. Knee Potter on the rebound. Comes into the front court. Odin down 14-8. They've won 11 games this year. They're not unfamiliar to winning as they have the basketball. Odin will go for the final shot. Williams on the left wing. Williams holds above his head in the left corner. That goes to Quick with one. Quick does not get a shot off. Chris Hugo probably just almost shook his head and closed his eyes. For into the first quarter, it's Woodlawn 14, Odin 8. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals basketball on the showcase on WMIX. The health of your kidneys has a big impact on your overall health, affecting everything from your blood pressure to your bones. And if you ever have a kidney problem, Dr. Kangura is here to help. Dr. Kangura trained at the Mayo Clinic and specializes in conditions ranging from kidney stones and uncontrolled high blood pressure to chronic kidney disease. Dr. Kangura sees patients at Crossroads Specialty Clinic. For an appointment, call 618-241-9071. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. This is the Showcase, presented by Community First Bank. One quarter in the book in this title game of the Midland Trail with Lawton Leeds 14-8. Danny Zawinski and Mike Richardson alongside. And tough start. Odin battling back, though, here on this possession. Yeah, they caught Woodlawn sleeping just a little bit right there and scored. Uh, just missed the free throw for the old conventional three-point play. Then Knee Potter takes the inbounds off the jump ball and scores again at 14-10. Odin will press. It's a 2-2-1. They've done this the entire game. Woodlawn has Renault, Logan Wallerman, Owens, Robinson, and Hateman as Owens has it front court right side. Between the late dribbles, he sets and looks over the offense. Odin, Owens goes left side to Renault around the Odin defense. Hateman in the left corner. Get past Owens, right wing from Hateman, three-pointer no good, tipped around. It'll go in the corner, recovered by Wood for Odin. He throws it up to Horton. Horton at the timeline, has trapped, throws it in the backcourt. That's over and back, yes, sir. Yeah, Horton had nowhere to go, trapped at the half line by the sideline by two Cardinals and couldn't do anything but throw it in the backcourt. 
seen that one developing right here in front of our eyes, and Odin just couldn't get anybody across this side of the line while he caught him in midair. So that's only their second turnover here tonight. But like Kylie sponsors a halftime show, they can save you thousands on your college education. See how on the fly online while you're there. Logan Wallerman left right corner, three, no good. Tipped around, Wallerman has it on the right block, has a tip stolen away by Wood. Ball on the floor, Wood gets it to knee pot, a behind the back pass. It's a quick block from high by Logan Wallerman. Owen saves it in the Hakeman. There's bodies everywhere. It's title game night. Wow, good hustle from everybody. What play as Hakeman comes into the front court. To Robinson at the right elbow. Shot from Robinson. No good. Odin is inspired. Here comes Wood up the right side to Quick in the front court. Around Robinson. That's a blocking foul. Quick will not shoot two. I think that was on the floor. Robinson picks up his first and... Mike, the longer you let a team hang around, Absolutely. you know what happens. Substitutions coming in while they do that. We'll tell you that every scoreboard update we give tonight, we'll give a bunch of them. Uh, later on, as we go, Scott Owens will sponsor us that. Give him a call at 242-3770 to get to a better state. Triggering in front of, triggering in front of us is Wood. Throws it on the right wing. Williams and Wood play with it. Wood's going to shoot a three on the way. It's good. Wow. Gavin Wood knocks down a three. He has eight out of 13. And Odin, who was down by eight, has crawled back to within one. Not going to be that easy tonight. Logan Wallerman to Hateman. Hateman to Blake Wallerman. He gets into the front court and throws it behind over and back. Woodline got crossed. Way, way too passive there. And not good. If you are the Woodlawn Cardinals right now. That's their sixth turnover here already, and uh, three of them have been unforced. At the top of the key right wing is Mr. Williams. Inside they go to Horton. Horton's been a player at Odin for a long time. In the right corner, right wing, Knee Potter. Knee Potter, you, the Lexington ball screen comes down the lane. Logan Wallman reaches in. His first team's fourth. And, oh, Odin is getting to the line pretty easily, or getting to the rim pretty easily here early on. Yeah, they're spreading the floor, getting some spin moves out of their guys handling the ball, and they all can handle it. They all can shoot the threes. They all can handle the basketball. First free throw up and in by Knee Potter. He has three, and it's tied up at 14 with 5.58 to go. He'll get one more. Don't forget, follow us on Twitter, at WMIX Sports. We're keeping you up to date with everything sports-related constantly as Odin takes a one-point lead, 15-14. Here comes that 2-1-2 zone press. Up across the timeline, Hateman trapped at the circle. Stuck. Now comes back out to the left wing, free throw line to Logan Wallerman. Woodlawn looks a little disheveled right now offensively. Out of sorts, it's Phelps goes to Hateman on the right wing. Hateman will dribble back and look around. Hateman goes to Phelps in the lane, 15-footer for the lead is good. Chase Phelps writes the ship for the Woodlawn Cardinals, and now Woodlawn kind of comes back a little bit in this one. Odin quickly the other way, Wood on the left wing. Wood goes to Knee Potter looking for a ball screen. We'll leave it underneath for Williams. He kicks it out in the right corner to Quick. Quick with it. We'll shoot a shot. No good. Rebound on the floor. Odin has it. That's Williams. Jump ball. Woodlawn basketball. Good hustle by both teams as Ross Owens will come in for Blake Wallerman at this point. Been a tremendous start so far. Odin right in this ball game. It will take some effort from Woodlawn in this one. Won't be easy. Logan Wallerman to Hateman. Hateman has it. Now to Logan Wallerman. To Phelps. Back to Hateman. Boy, they're just not breaking the press. If you would, you better get it across. Got Ten seconds. Not by the clock. It's by the count. Absolutely. I mean, we're sitting here counting to ourselves, you know, so nobody hears us on the airwaves. But regardless of the call, I mean, Woodlawn just defiant to get them all over the center line right then. There's patience and there's too much. Odin with it on the turnover. They trail 16-15, four and a half left in the first half. In the left corner, Knee Potter goes to the mid-range and picks up his dribble, cut off to Horton, top of the key. Horton, well, look, he picked it up. Flowered on him. Now Horton goes the right side to Williams, right corner to Woods. Wood gets a ball screen, thought about the three, couldn't get it off. Leave the top of the key for Williams. Phelps has him as Williams backs off. Confidence and swagger coming to Odin. Coach Finkbone very into this ball game, standing in his coach's box. Williams top of the key in the left corner. That's the knee potter. Three on the way. Basketball support. And it'll go to the Woodlawn Cardinal. Your community, your choice, your bank with five locations of friends and neighbors on staff understand your needs. 
Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Mike, is a case of being sometimes you need to be relaxed and patient, but there's a line that you cross and you're too relaxed and too patient, and this is where Woodlawn's at now. I think Woodlawn also got caught up in some mass substitutions right there, and at one point maybe not had you know, a good flow with the guards out front right there, and they were. They were just a little too methodical up and down the floor. And, it seemed like nobody just wanted to take charge. And, you know, you got to get guys involved in the game, get that initial sweat going right now. Woodlawn's already played, what, nine guys? Yep. Uh, you know, it's just typical of how they do things. And now just settle into that good rotation. Starters back on Woodlawn length before to go look at a little better effort against the press right here. Ballerman the hate, man. It's not anything silly or serious about this press. It's just an there's a bad pass. Robinson threw one at the, the feet of Ballerman and... Waterman looks at Robinson, and Robinson says, that's my bad, and we play on. Yep. Got to go on. You got to play. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. We'll be putting some new content on there in just a little bit. As we play at half, we're going in halftime. Odin with the ball down one. On the right wing is Knee Potter. He kind of surveys the defense. He's a wily old veteran. Pick and roll with Horton in the lane. His shot blocked by Owens. For Horton again for the lead and scores. Woodlock stood around. Now Odin feels a little heat, and they're going to get after Woodlock a little bit. Wallerman brings it up. Nope, that pass won't go anywhere. Knee Potter has it, brings it into the front court. Foul Owens on the reach. His second, team fifth. And the Woodlawn Cardinals right now, Mike, not looking real sharp here early on. So just not uh, the passes just aren't sharp right now. They're you know, they're too low, too high. They just can't get zeroed in. And this press right now has got Woodlawn a little bit concerned. And it's not anything particularly dangerous. Knee Potter for a three, no good. Owens gets the rebound. Here comes Woodlawn across the other way. Owens into the front court. Odin pressuring, and boy, Odin is starting to feel like they can have their shot here to knock Woodlock off in this one. Owens to Phelps on the left wing. 3.20 to go in the first half. Woodlawn trails 17-16. Owens retrieves that near the timeline. Logan Wallerman to Hateman. Hateman and Wallerman now over the uh, Owens inside. Robinson blocked from behind. That's a foul. Robinson goes to the floor. Foul on Knee Potter. That's two. He has both Odin fouls. And Jake Robinson will go to the line to shoot two. Now, what a great pass by number 22, Ross Owens. Take that corner pass. Got that guy jumped out of the way just a foot. That hit Robinson on a nice little eight-footer, but he was fouled in the process. And the first free throw coming from Jake Robinson is up and off the back of the iron, clings around. Point your own good play. When you open a community first bank, free high-yield checking account that earns cash back, just ask for one. Member FDIC, Mark Herm will come in for knee potter. He has to sit out with two fouls. He also has four points. So that hurts Odin as Robinson will shoot another. Second free throw is up and in. He gets one out of two. Jake has three. 17 all with three minutes to go in the first half. This is a huge surprise for a lot of people. Woodlawn beat him a month ago, 60-29 to 29 at home. Williams with it on the right wing. Looks for Horton. Now goes right wing Margram. Margram with it. Back out to Williams. Williams holds above his head. It's a ball screen. Now goes left side to Williams, to Wood. Wood comes to the left. Now he's in the corner. There's a shot fake from Quick. He goes up with a jumper. No good. Phelps has the rebound off the hands and body. Owens has it for the Cardinals. Triple team. Somebody's got to be open. If you're going to do that, bad pass, it'll go off Odin out of bounds. This Woodlawn team a little lackadaisical passing the ball, Mike, and they're just kind of throwing the ball everywhere. Yeah, and Shane Whipple's just going to have more to it. I mean, that's what coaches do sometimes. you got to find out. I mean, you just can't be out there for them, you know, every possession. They've got to find a way to fight through this right now. Phil Jackson way of doing things, but Woodlawn turns it over again. Odin comes the other way. Wood will bring it into the front court foul, Hateman, and the momentum grows for Odin. They feel like they are in this one, and they are tied at 17 with 2.20 to go. They are, and Woodlawn getting a little foul trouble right now. This will be the sixth foul. Next foul, Odin will be at free throw line. We know they can shoot free throws. We'll pick a Crossroads Community Hospital player. The game when this one is over. Why wait hours in other emergency rooms? When the emergency department at Crossroads Community Hospital pledged to be seen by physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. Woodlawn played through that, got a steal, and immediately Odin will pressure. Odin's from Hateman into the front court with two to go. Hateman between the circles. Now back to Owens on the left wing to Phelps. Phelps will take that shot up and no good. Logan Wallerman on the rebound. Jump stop in the lane off the block. Front rim no good. Should have been a foul. Logan tipped and it'll be, I guarantee you, Odin ball. Yep. 
Logan probably should have got a foul. Woodlawn missed the bunny. 152 to go here in the first half. Tied at 17. Midland Trail Conference Tournament Championship. Woodlawn heavily favored. Haven't done much to do anything here. Cross the timeline. Odin will bring it. Margram with it. Margram comes across the top. Still dribbling here as Owens gets close to him. That's between the circle. Margram still on him and the count's on. Nothing said, nothing done. And now on the right side. They're going to go for the final shot here as we begin our end of the first half. Wood with it on the dribble. Now drops it off. Williams now to Margram on the left wing. Back to Wood. Wood top of the key. Fakes left. Now comes back to the top. What in the world will they do? Odin has is in this one, and there's a travel. Woodlawn played some defense that time. And neither skin team has scored in a while. We're still tied at 17 with a minute nine to go. Got Woodlawn doing a good job of hedging right off the screens right there. and Got a turnover. Only Odin's fourth in the ballgame. Aitman on the left wing to Owens. Odin has the arrow. They will have it to start the second half. Owens dribbling near the timeline. We're going there a minute to go. Midland Trail Conference Tournament Championship game. Tied at 17. Aitman left wing. Odin only scored 29 points the last time these two teams played. They already have 17 in the first 15 minutes of this one. Over on the right wing is Owens to Wallerman. Wallerman looks to Owens. Sometimes when you play a zone team, you're not used to it. It takes a while to adjust. Hateman on the left wing with 30 seconds. Hateman to Owens and Woodlawn definitely now will have to go for one shot as the defense for Odin playing very well. Hateman will hold near the timeline pretty well middle of the floor. Hateman with it and looks over. And Shane Whistle stands up and will call a play. Hateman has it with 14 seconds. Hateman to Owens on the right side. Owens will get to Phelps on the left wing. Phelps with it to Hateman in the corner. Now back to Phelps with five, with four. To Owens in the corner, three at the horn. No good rebound, and that's how this half will end. What's on 17? Odin 17 in the Midland Trail Tournament Conference Championship game. We'll take a break and come back with scoring and stats. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. Midsize, full-size, we have every size vehicle to suit your automotive needs without draining your bank account. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler Center, Mount Vernon. Chrysler has it all with the savings you deserve. The award-winning Chrysler 300 is without question one of the most innovative and luxurious full-size cars on the road today. If you need a little less size, but do not want to sacrifice luxury, I recommend the Chrysler 200 Limited. You still have the luxury feel and sleek design with the fuel mileage that keeps you away from the pump. Both models boast a $4,000 rebate. Now that's savings you cannot pass up. See how you can live the life of luxury and talk to one of our sales associates at King City Chrysler Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and don't forget, you can view all of our inventory online at KingCityChryslerCenter.com. Is your concrete driveway or maybe your sidewalk cracked, unsightly, or even non-existent? Let Rolly's Excavating and Cement Finishing in Woodlawn be a part of your home or business renovation in the new year. A true family-owned and operated local business, Rolly's Excavating specializes in dirt excavation and hauling, residential and commercial concrete jobs, too. There's nothing these guys can't do. Get a free quote by calling Luke Rolly at 237-0552. That's 237-0552. Rolly's Excavating and Cement Finishing. They get dirty, so you... You don't have to. Call Luke today. There's still time to save during the cleanup sale at Newell Furniture in the General Store in Woodlawn. Get an extra 15 to 20% off your favorite furniture from Lazy Boy, Flex Steel, Sealy Posture Beauty Bedding, Broyhill, Universal, Bedrooms, Dining Rooms, and more. Clean up on savings at Newell's General Store with 75% off all remaining holiday, 50% off all Gym Shore collection, lotions, scarves, purses, plus 15 to 25% off everything else. Newell's, cleaning up to save you more. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. Dig in with full contact coal miner training at Red Lake College. 
Learn in our new 20,000 square feet coal mine training center. Use real equipment like continuous miners and power sitters. And check out the new mine rescue and fire safety training tunnel. Associate degree and occupational certificates available. We're full contact, hands-on coal mining. Real equipment, real live, all the time. What are you waiting for? Call 618-437-5321 and get started. This is the showcase on WMIX, the Ren Lake College Halftime Show. Starts now. Halftime at the Midland Trail Conference Tournament. The Woodlawn Cardinals and the Odin Eagles are tied at 17 as we welcome you back into the Ren Lake College Halftime Show. They offer over 100 degree certificate programs for thousands less, see which is right for you with full descriptions of RLC. Dot edu apply online while you're there. Some scores at the BIT today. Pinckneyville beat Sasser Valera 56-54. Benton lost to Oakville 46-44. And Carlisle beat Hamilton County 48-29. Game one of the night session. Oakville beat Sasser Valera 61-40. Third place game at Salem. Effingham beat Mount Vernon 54-42 in two earlier games in the afternoon of the Constellation side. Salem beat Lovejoy 71-55, and Marion beat Mattoon 73-57. At the Penny Hardaway shootout in Tennessee, Harrisburg has lost to Dyer County, Tennessee 89-86, and Newton has beaten Oblong tonight 61-60. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. Let him make it simple and friendly advice when you need it, right level of protection, and all the discounts you deserve. Give him a call at 242-3770 to get to a better state. We'll take a break, but not before we'll tell you. This is the WMI Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Fort Square and King City Chrysler. We'll come back with scoring and stats. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals Basketball on the Showcase on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest-earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. There's still time to save during the cleanup sale at Newell Furniture and the General Store in Woodlawn. Get an extra 15 to 20% off your favorite furniture from Lazy Boy, Flex Steel, Sealy Posture Beautic Bedding, Broyhill, Universal, Bedrooms, Dining Rooms, and more. Clean up on savings at Newell's General Store with 75% off all remaining holiday, 50% off all Gym Shore collection, lotions, scarves, purses, plus 15 to 25% off everything else. Newell's, cleaning up to save you more. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank. Community First Bank, the title sponsor of high school sports on WMIX. Make your own great play when you open the Community First Bank free high yield checking account that earns cash back. Just ask for one member of FDIC. Danny Swinski and Mike Richardson alongside, and I'll turn it over quickly to Mr. Richardson. He has all the scoring and stats from this first half. Thank you very much, Danny, and for the Old Eagles coming in tonight's contest. 11-2 and two seasonal record. They had nine rebounds, uh, four turnovers. Very clean first half for them. They shoot regular four out of 12, 33% behind the arc, two out of eight for a total of six out of 20, 30% overall field goal shooting. They go to the free throw line five times. They knock down three out of five for 60%. Individual scoring, Markham, he has three, four, four, four points for Neopotter, two points for Horton, and the leading scorer in today's contest for the Eagles, Gavin Wood, the junior. He's knocked down one out of two behind the arc, two out of two inside, one out of three at the free throw line. He has eight points to lead them with the 17 points they have. And for the Woodlawn Cardinals, 14 individual rebounds, one team rebound for a total of 15. Ross Owens leading the way there with four. They shoot the ball good on the inside, uh, just not many opportunities. Ten turnovers, very uncharacteristic of the Cardinals for a first half of play, ten turnovers. They're five of eight, 63% behind the arc inside. Two of seven, twenty nine percent overall shooting nine out of fifteen for sixty seven percent. They only go to free throw line two times, knock one out of two down fifty percent shooting there. All five scores scored starters scored for the Cardinals. Two points for Wallerman, 
Robinson with three, Hateman with three. He got Woodlawn off that 3 0 lead. Chase Phelps with four in the leading score for the Cardinals. One out of one inside, one out of three behind the arc. Some great passes tonight. Ross Owens, he leads the Cardinals in scoring with five as Woodlawn and the Old Eagles are tied 17 all here at the half. You've been listening to the Red Lake College halftime show. They can save you thousands on your college education. See how and apply online at rlc.edu. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals basketball on the showcase on WMIX. A digestive problem can affect every area of your life. But now there's a specialist right here in town who focuses on digestive health. Mayo Clinic trained Dr. Teg Paul Atwal has opened the only gastroenterology clinic in Mount Vernon. Dr. Atwal treats acid reflux, gallbladder problems, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcers, and more. For your appointment with Dr. Atwal at Crossroads Specialty Clinic, call 618-241-9071. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor, or call 625-3523. That's 625-3523. With the housing market picking up and rates still low, now's the perfect time to purchase a home of your dreams. Hi, this is Joy Schrader, mortgage specialist from People's National Bank. People's National Bank has several different programs to choose from to help get you in the home of your dreams. Stop by and see me, Joy Schrader, or apply online at peoplesnationalbank.com today. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC, equal housing lender, loan subject to credit approval. Are you interested in a career in the culinary arts but can never afford the high cost of cooking school? Red Lake College has a low-cost recipe for success. For as little as $5,500 per year, you can get a quality culinary arts education in your own backyard. That even includes books, tuitions, class fees, and supplies. Learn to master domestic fare, pastry, and foreign cuisine in Ina, Illinois. Save thousands on a culinary arts education at Red Lake College. For more information, log on to rlc.edu slash culinaryarts. This is the Showcase, presented by Community First Bank. WMIXSports.com, your streaming home for high school sports on WMIX. Also, every night, a scoreboard update posted every night of high school sports season from August through till June. Denny Sorwinski, oh, that pins back to life. Denny Sorwinski and Mike Richardson, alongside 17 all, Mike. The longer you leave Odin around, confidence, swagger, they believe they can win the longer you let them hang around. Well, I imagine in the dressing room of the Woodlawn Cardinals, Shane Whistle's approach was, okay, fellas, that was your half. Now here's my half. Let's go. Well, that's, that's an interesting way to put it. I'm not sure <laughs> if that's probably what it was said. But anyway, Odin has it. Margram to the left baseline. Margram has it. Now leaves it on the left wing for Wood. Woodlawn man-to-man. We'll see if the intensity picks up for the Cardinals. Odin's going to pull Woodlawn out. This is interesting. Now left wing to Wood. Back to Williams. Left wing. Over to Wood. In the corner, off a of ball screen, back cap from behind. Ball goes over to Margram on the right side, though. Margram goes left wing. That's to Wood. Picks it up at the elbow, at the waist. He holds and looks. Now leaves it behind him for Williams. He'll dribble to the left wing. Odin taking their sweet time here in this one. And a long three on the way. And good. Those are the kind of shots that have to go tonight if Odin wants to pull the upset. Yeah, and you take 45 seconds off the clock when you do that, cutting down on Woodlawn's possession. Logan Wallerman across the timeline. Now Phelps picks it up in a bad spot to Hateman, top of the key. Owens in the corner for the answer. Long off the mark. Robinson, one-hand rebound. Throws it to Logan Wallerman out of bounds. Couldn't get to it. Seven minutes to go in the third. Woodlawn down 28-17. to 17. Always bank on your hometown team. Community First Bank, home of the one account, featuring free checking, high-yield interest member FDIC. We welcome IHSA officials Jay Miller and Brent Garrison listening in on their way home from Sparta tonight. Crystal clear, they say, WMIX is tonight in Randolph County. Margram to the left of the wing, left corner Wood, and Brains jumper up and in. Odin's off to a 5 0 start here in this third quarter, and Woodlawn has not scored in a long time. One field goal in the second quarter. Owen's top of the key. A Woodlawn had 14 at the end of one, three cents. Hasn't scored in a while. Owens top of the key to Hateman on the right side. Hateman to the free throw line to Owens to Phelps on the left block. Left wing corner pass out of bounds. 
Woodlawn not very careful with the basketball. WMI Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Also, don't forget about the Saturday Sports Show every Saturday morning from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. on AM 940. And WMIXports.com, guest talking at Saturday Sports Show, social media question of the week. Margram with it on the left wing. Gets it to Williams. Has it on the left wing dribble. He made a three-wall go from about 23 feet. Woodlawn has, is trailing 22-17. They have not scored a field goal in a long time. Now Williams picks it up to Margram near the timeline. Odin being very patient. They're going to limit possession. Margram with it between the circle. Crosses over right, left down the lane around Owens. Left good. It's a 7 0 run to start the quarter for Odin. 24 17. The Eagles are on top. Hateman with it to Wallerman. The Cardinals have only lost one game. That was almost two years ago at Wayne City. Owens will come down the lane. Layup good. Ross Owens stops the bleeding. He has seven. Cardinals down. Down by 5, 24 19. Knee Potter between the circle. On the dribble. Now they'll trap. Knee Potter gets around people, leaves it for Horton top of the key. And they'll swing it around to Margram on the left wing. Margram on the dribble, ball screen top of the key, between the legs. Wants to go to his left, now back to the right. Gives it to Williams. Odin taking the life out of this game and, and the crowd out of it as well. As Williams goes across the top. That'll be five seconds. Got to four, and now he hands it off to Margram. Margram top of the key. They're running the weave out front. They're in no hurry. Knee Potter will go on Logan Wallerman. Knee Potter in the lane, throws up a shot, and rattles out. That should have went in, and Wallerman gets the rebound for the Cardinal. Hayman will bring it into the front court. Nope, turns off now, does, picks it up in a pitiful spot, and that'll be an aggressive foul. The first on Odin of the half will go to number 23, Devin Williams, his first as well. And when you stop in that position right there, you're definitely going to have... Odin being very aggressive on a steal in the jump zone right there, and Shane West was not liking what he's seeing. Takes another Cardinal timeout. Well, he will tell you about Crossroads Community Hospital. Mike and I will pick a player of the game sponsored by Crossroads Community Hospital. Why visit other area emergency rooms and wait hours? They promise or pledge you'll be seen by physicians within 30 minutes of your arrival. And here, Mike, is 24-19. Odin's got some confidence. And you don't want to get any further in this one because the further you go and the longer they hang around, you know, here comes here comes Odin. They can make this a real tight one for Woodlawn. Oh, yeah, you start cutting down those possessions. We're already 441 here in the third quarter, and Woodlawn already on 11 turnovers in the game. Look at the lost shots they have on that end. Now, Woodlawn has the basketball after the Shane Whistle timeout. Phelps has it in the corner. Phelps will throw to Hateman on the left wing. Woodlawn kind of getting a passive mood here. Kind of letting Odin take the game tempo. Owens to Wallerman, 10-footer in the rim. No good rebound, Odin. Hit the rim, and then Odin lost it out of bounds. Oh, Woodlawn picked it out, they say. And it'll be Odin basketball. And this is not probably what many people expected, including you and I coming over here tonight. Well, absolutely not. You know, especially the way Woodlawn got off to such a good start throwing over the top of that defense and taking care of the basketball. And Odin has it in the front court on the attack. That is Williams on the right side, double team now, goes back to the right to Wood. Baseline knee potted over Hateman, block, foul. Hateman, I think, is going to get called for the foul. He was there first. And Odin starting to break away Woodlawn's defense as they ball chase a little bit, and that's the second on Hateman, first on Woodlawn of the half. And you said the right thing. They're chasing right now. Three guys chase. He has two guys against three on the other side. And, boy, boom, 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 pass down there on that block. And you're creating some issues. And E. Potter misses the first free throw. He'll get another. Second one coming from him. Odin leads by five. Make that six. 25-19. And Woodlawn right now kind of got that look around like somebody, it's me, somebody needs to step up. Owens across the timeline between the circles. Bounce pass Robinson to Lane. Shot good and foul. And that's what I'm talking about. Jake Robinson steps up to make it 25-21. That's a good chance for the conventional three-point play. Well, Ross on getting the ball down the court, going through the middle, drawing that guy towards him. And as soon as he jumped, that Jake Robinson slid right in there, made a nice cut, and kissed it off the glass. Robinson's free throw in front of us on the stage is good. It's 25-22. Cardinals down three. 3.50 to go in the third quarter. WMAX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Fort Square and King City Chrysler. Odin across the timeline. Wood with it. Left side down the top of the key. Right wing to Williams. 
Williams with it, double team to Margram in the corner. Margram has it left side. Here comes a long three by Wood on the way off the mark, and that goes over the top of the backboard. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank's at home at Dick Sign in Mount Vernon and Woodlawn. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Always down the lane. They break the press. Robinson scores. Now Woodlawn's waking up a little bit. Five by Robinson in the quarter. Woodlawn back to within one. Margram across the timeline. Free throw line extended jumper. Good. Went around, got around his defender, and then right down, and nobody picked him up. Knocked it down. Well, wouldn't back by three. Hayman to Phelps on the right wing. Phelps on the dribble. Double team goes baseline. Bump foul. Third on knee potter. And that's the third on Odin. And that's what Woodlawn's got to do. Get them and try to get the ball into their body. And they've got to get the ball to 22 about every time to break that press. Right there was a three-on-one. The no-look pass to Robinson. Filled the lane. Woodlawn's got it down to a one-possession game right now. And the basketball. They've done this in the last minute. Owens to trigger in front of us to Robinson to Phelps, top of the key. Hey, look, nobody there. Phelps comes down the lane, 15-footer in traffic, off the mark. Robinson gets the rebound. Boy, he battled in there, and he throws it left wing. Harris, corner, Hateman, jumper, 15-footer, good. Jason Hateman got knocked down to the ground. No foul called. He has five, 27-26. Woodmont's shown a little life here with 2.40 to go in a third. Margram across the timeline on the dribble. Owens will pick him up, make him pick it up, ball kick out of bounds. Rolly's excavating and cement finishing can provide land clearing, grading, and other excavating services, such as creating that dream bond behind your home. Give Luke a call, 237-0552. Side out of bounds, Odin to the top of the key to Williams. He'll back it up. That's been his spot most of the quarter. Now he throws it and it's tipped out of bounds. Actually, he didn't hit anybody. Was that ball tipped? I don't believe so. It was just a oh. error pass right there. Woodlot extends that zone defense and you can get them jump angles. And we've talked about the length of Woodlot at 6'2, six, 6'3 six, players. But boy, they got long arms. Hayman always across his timeline. Ross bounce pass going away. Travel. Yep. Wooden made the steal and then he couldn't get his feet down. He threw it down. And with frustration, the referee kind of looked at him like, let's not do that again. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're tweeting and putting information there all the time. Owens triggers in front of us. Now in the right corner, Robinson to Phelps. Phelps backdoor pass to Owens. Owens to the ground. Gets up. Harris shot no good. Tipped around Odin on the rebound. Here it comes Quick into the front court. Left side on the dribble. Quick goes around. Phelps on the reach. And that was a waste. That foul was way out there by the timeline. First on him. Second on Woodlock. 27-26. Odin leads by one. They will inbound in front of their bench. Williams in the Margram. 2-12 to go in the third with on down, 27-26. Margram spins out of the double team. Owens picks it off. Owens will bring it into the front court. It's two on one. Owens to the rim. Shot short. Robinson had it, lost it. Here comes Porton the other way on the rebound for Odin to the right wing. Double team picked it up. Phelps couldn't get the steal. Wood has it. Down the lane he comes. Pull up jumper short from the eye. Rebound Brett Harris. Harris to Owens. Who thought about the baseball pass? Thought different. Now he's going to get double teamed and a foul. Wood gets his second. Wood and their fourth. And Woodlawn right now kind of feel the momentum twisting a little bit here with Odin not being able to make shots. Yeah, I haven't totally got over the hump yet, but now i got it manageable. You know, you can manage this rest with 145 here. We need to get a nice break, you know, before that fourth quarter. But Woodlawn right now getting them in foul trouble about four fouls, and we know Woodlawn can shoot free throws. Refereeing crew, officiating crew has been very good tonight all week. In fact, Owens Robinson left good Woodlawn back in the league. Jake Robinson has seven. He has spurred Woodlawn on. Quickly front court right side. Quick to the rim blocking foul Hayman. Hayman picks up his third. The new rule means he gets three. He gets the blocking foul. And it was with 133 to go in the third. Make your own great play when you open a community first bank free high yield checking account that earns cash back just as for one member FBI. Oh, Woodlawn got caught sleeping. One missed the shot. Phelps with a block. Well, Odin not hustling back. Phelps has in the left corner. I don't know how to describe it. He was trying to go behind the back between his legs, I think, and it didn't work. He picks it up in the left corner. Odin never came down the forward. Woodlawn missed a golden opportunity. Odin's getting frustrated. They had Woodlawn on the rope. And they let him up, and Hayman's going to shoot a three. It's off the mark. Rebound goes to Odin. Good with a rebound. Quickly the other way. Left bounce pass Margram. Layup over two Cardinals. No good. One hit. Six foot is in. He has four and a quarter, 12 in the game. 29-28. Odin by one. One minute to go in the third. Harris in the front court. Owens. The Phelps has it on the left wing, and that's a foul. That'll be on Horton reaching in on, on Phelps. 
Now, Odin has five team fouls, so Woodlawn may get a chance to make free throws here as we creep toward the bonus. Side out of bounds, Brett Harris and the home bleachers over to Phelps. Phelps in from 15, got it taken away, stolen away by Potter. Now he gets it to quick in the front court. 45 seconds. Potter looking for contact, or I should say quick is. And if Phelps steals it, Potter went to the ground, recovered by Horton. He leaves the top of the key for Williams. Things go ragtag here now. A Robinson on the field of Phelps. Phelps has it, bounces to Robinson. I don't know how Jake made the catch, missed the layup. Tough catch for him. Williams rebounds the other way to Margram in the front court with 25 seconds. Right corner to Horton. He'll pull it out. Now Dobbs ball tipped. Williams recovers on the right wing. Double team Margram right baseline. He dribbles out to the right corner, guarded by Owens and Aitman. Gets between the double team. Ball to the floor. They're going to call Owens or Aitman on a foul. Probably Owens on the reach in from this angle. Yeah, Owens with his third. So he and Aitman have three. Fourth on the Cardinals with 11.5 seconds left in the quarter. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. We've got some new content on there from the game. Give us a like. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. Bargram has the inbound with eight. Left wing to Wood. Wood dribbles into the lane. Inside pass tipped out to Margram. Margram's going to have a shot. Throws it into Wood. Laugh at the heart. No good. End of three quarters. Odin 29. Woodline 28. You're listening to Woodline Cardinals basketball on the showcase on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. A coach house garage is money well spent On craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments Don't cut corners on your garage, it adds value to your home That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs Or they'll build one to your design For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon Or go online to coachhousegarages.com More than just a garage More than just a garage It's a Coach House this is the showcase presented by Community First Bank. Three quarters in the book here at North Clay in the championship game of the NTC. Woodlawn trails Odin 29 28. Denny's Whiskey, Mike Richardson alongside. Mike, well, Odin's around for the, for the whole thing, I believe, at this point. Oh, I do too. Yeah, this, this is going to be a few possessions here. Unless somebody can get a run off the defense themselves. It's going to be almost like a who's got the ball last type atmosphere. Eight men the Phelps in the corner. Phelps with it, goes baseline, goes to the rim, layup no good. Rebound Phelps in traffic, goes up shot block from behind. Rebound goes to knee potter. Phelps wanted a foul, wouldn't get it. Phelps got knocked on the head, no call. Up to the right wing, here comes the Williams. There's a foul on Owens, and that'll be four on Rock. And that's a frustrating thing when Phelps got knocked on the head or slapped. It wasn't like it was devastating, but just enough. And Blake Waldman, I'll have to play minutes for Ross Owen. Absolutely. Ross has got to definitely take a seat with those four fouls. Can't have him. Lost for this whole quarter. And Blake Waldman right now probably playing the most meaningful minutes in his young career. Seven and a half to go in this MTC championship game of this tournament. The 85th edition. The long three on the way. Williams off the mark. Rebound. Knee Potter stuck in. Missed the layup. Harris on the rebound in the block. Gets it to Hankman. Hankman will bring it across the timeline. Woodlawn needs to get going if they want to win six in a row. Wallerman top of the key to Hankman on the left wing. Thought about it. Phelps. Baseline cut off. Now throws it to Walterman down the lane. There's Blake Walterman. That's got to be goaltending. I would have to say that's a foul. Robinson, first off, it was goaltending. The shot was in the rim. The guy hung on the net. Then Robinson got the ball. was laying on the back of knee potter. And then flat vertical or horizontal threw it in on the foul. You talk about a circus shot right there. Unbelievable. That's hard to even describe, but Danny did the best. I mean, he was he, he got a rebound and never touched the floor and shot it while he was on the back of another player and drew the foul. He was laying horizontal on the back of an Odin player and was shooting it. Now, reality, probably should have got a call for being breaking the law for a To be honest, 
you might be able to throw a traveling in there also. Because <laughs> the guy holding was trying to walk around. Robinson made the shot. And he has three, and it's 31-29. Woodlawn leads by two on a circus play. Woodlawn 1-3-1. One, one. Margram across the timeline, through the lane, kick it out left corner. Knee Potter for the three in the lead. Off the mark, rebound Phelps. Phelps has the rebound underneath, and he's looking. You can see some pestiness, and there's going to be a feed. That's got to be a reach-in on Quick, but it's going to be on Phelps. Quick kept pestering him out and holds him and touching him. Phelps got tired of it, and now it's going to be a push foul, and it's going to be, I guess, a T, correct? Or, or intentional. I right. guess it'll be intentional on the ball out, because that's yeah. the second foul. You have to keep your emotions in check. No, it's not anything. It's just a foul. It's just going to be a straight foul. I think the both officials came over here and both coaches had their little piece to say that it's just a regular foul as far as the scoreboard's indicating, and we're not going to the free throw line. Well, it's getting a little dicey. There's a little touching that's going on. This game is getting close, and the referees are doing a very good job in this one trying to keep everybody under control. Odin inbounds to the right wing to Wood. On the dribble, I would say there are going to be a few tight ones called here to kind of get things ramped down a little bit more in this one. With the line, Margram throws it all to Wood on the right wing. Now back out to Williams in the corner to Knee Potter. Down the lane, he gets Robinson, scores in a foul. Knee Potter scores. He has seven. We're tied at 31. Robinson picks up his second. And as far as possessions go on an incident that just took place, you want to have the ball right after that because you want to be the one to be the offensive aggressor and take advantage of that next call because you know it's coming if you get close to the shooter. That free throw is good by Knee Potter, and Odin takes a 32-31 lead. This one is a lot closer than what most people thought it would be. Blake Wallerman, left wing to Phelps. He's going to get to the rim. He's going all the way, throws up a shot, foul. Williams has his second, and that's the seventh on Odin. So everybody shooting free throws the rest of the way. Phelps to the line to shoot two. This, my friends, is a lot closer. Well, so far, can't complain about the stripes. First free throw by Phelps is good. He'll get another as we're tied at 32. If you're an offensive player now in the rest of this game, you be aggressive, you're going to be rewarded because they're going to keep things under control and in check. Oh, Phelps misses the free throw, gets his own rebound back. In traffic, layup good. Phelps with a four-point trip or three-point trip. In fact, 34-32. Now Wood across the timeline. Odin down two. In the corner to Quick. Double team stolen away. Logan Wallerman. Hateman with the rebound. Hateman makes his great play. Make your own great play when you open up community first bank and free high yield checking account that earns cash back. Hateman across the timeline on the dribble in the corner. Logan Wallerman back to Hateman. Hateman has it above his head. That's to Blake Wallerman. He goes to the left wing. Now back to Hateman, top of the key. Hateman now goes to Blake Wallerman, who thought about a three. Phelps goes to the rim, had his pocket pick. Knee Potter with a steal. Not going to get a call with the body language there. Knee Potter goes right corner to Margaret, stolen away Hateman. Hateman with another steal. He's been huge defensively. As we listen here on 94.1 WMIX, also online at WMIXSports.com. Hateman to Blake Wallerman. Five and a half to go. Was on by two. Hateman to Wallerman. Who thought about the three? He didn't get it off. Now throws right corner to Logan. Back to Hateman. To Blake Wallerman. Left Kaleen. Blake, circling or looking around. Too much standing now. Perimeter passing for the Woodmont Cardinal. Hateman with it to the left side. Blake Wallerman. He may have to make a shot. Hateman, top of the key. Holds above his head. Five minutes to go in this one. Blake's going to shoot it. I knew he'd have to. Robinson going to get called for breaking the law. Verticality is third. Team's eight. We'll walk to the other end and shoot free throws. While they get set up, we need to pause for station identification here on the showcase. Worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is WMIX-FM. Mount Vernon, Marion, Effingham. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. One and one coming for him, Gavin Wood, as this one has turned into a clobber knocker here in the Midland Trail Conference Tournament. First free throw from Wood on the way is up and in. He'll get another. He has made two out of three tonight. He has 13 points in the ball game. Woodlawn down, our trail, our lead, 34-33. We'll see how Wood makes the second or tie. 
This one's going to go, Mike, like you said, maybe down to a last possession. Now Odin will press, and that's been a fit tonight. Owens in the middle of the floor with the four fouls. Down the lane, Wallerman left. Good, but Owens traveled on the shuffle set. Probably the right call. Saturday Sports Show every Saturday morning on AM 940, also online at WMIKesports.com from 8.08 a.m. to 10 a.m. every Saturday morning. All shows archived at WMikesports.com. Williams into the front court to the right side. Now double team. Has to pick out of it. Up the right wing. Wood timeout. Mike Fingphone. Didn't like how that possession was going. 40, 440 to go in this one. Woodlawn and Odin tied at 34. And don't forget, Mike and I will pick the Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game when this one is over. Why wait hours in other emergency rooms when Crossroads Community Hospital's emergency department pledges can be seen by physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. Well, this is going to go possession by possession. I'm sure Woodlawn is not wanting to be in this spot right now. I didn't think they would be. No, I truly sure didn't think that at all. And they had a couple of opportunities to extend that lead, even when it was two and three, just a handful of minutes ago, and did not take advantage of that. And actually, playing perimeter catch out there, hey, run a little clock, make sure you get what you want. You don't have to force up that three right there. And Woodlawn right now, you know, got to play defense, and the longer you play defense, the harder it is to get them shut up. That was a great play by Robert. Oh, he stepped in on the inbound pass from Williams, and Williams had to give the foul because Jake had a run out, and Williams... We'll send Robinson to the line for the one and one. Stay tuned for the Sessor Auto Body post game show. Pre approved by most insurance companies. This means Sessor Auto Body can get your vehicle back on the road faster. Next time you have a collision, see the collision pros at Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor. 439 to go in this one. Robinson to try to break the tie. Rattles out. Rebound Odin's knee potter. Knee potter will bring it up. Nail biting time here in North Clay. Wood has it on the right side and just got out of bounds. He lost his balance, got out of bounds. Hateman played defense. Great no call by the official on the baseline. Woodline will have it, 429 to go. Yeah, just dribbled out of bounds, just lost control. Never could get his balance back and they'll turn over the fifth here in the second half of Woodline. They give it right back. And Margram down the lane, he got fouled. And Wallerman threw it in. Blake did, and Margram stuck across. He was playing 2D Tampa, Tampa 2 and got caught. And Wallerman didn't read that, and the interception happens. And Woodlawn has nine fouls, and Margram to the line. Hasn't been there all night, but he has seven points. He's been a key cog in this one. First free throw off the mark to the right. He'll get another. Scoreboard update tonight, sponsored by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. We've got Mount Carmel beating Mount Vernon, Indiana, and Carmi 63-41, and Triad beat Highland 52-44. Give Scott Owens, Owens a call at 242-3770 to get to a better state. Margram gets one out of two with a two-shot foul. 35-34. Owens into the front court, picks it up the timeline. Double team, finds Robinson, still in knee potter. Just not very good decisions tonight by Woodlawn. Turnovers are really racking up here. Over on the right side goes to Quick. Over skip pass left wing to Wood. Holds above his head inside knee potter layup good. Odin's up by three, and there's four minutes to go in this one. This is not the effort that Woodlawn has seen for many years. Hateman to Owens. Owens will come across the timeline. That's a leg whip. Quick will pick up his second. Ninth on Odin, and Ross Owens to the line. With 3.53 to go, a 17-game Midland Trail Conference Tournament winning streak on the line for Woodlawn. The Cardinals have lost one game, whether it's conference or tournament play, in the five-plus years going on six in this conference. That was at Wayne City in February 2012 as Ross Owens makes the first. He'll get another. Overtime also in that Wayne City game. Overtime. Yeah, and that was at Wayne City. 37-35. Owens gets it to within one. 37-36. Shane Whistle with a timeout with 3.53 to go. While we wait, we'll continue with that scoreboard update. We started a while ago at Nashville for third place. Chabot beat G-Town 51-45. For fifth place at West Frankfort, Johnston City beat Vienna 58-41. Collinsville is beating Pittsfield at Jerseyville 47-28. At... Massac County, Charleston, Missouri beat Meridian 75-71. And in a shootout at Dyer County, Tennessee, the Penny Hardaway shootout, Harrisburg lost to Dyer County, Tennessee 89-86. Rough week for Harrisburg. They lose a lot this week at Carmi and down in Dyer County, Tennessee. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. 
Give them a call, 242-3770, to get to a better state. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. That's our way to keep you up to date with things. And Mike, right now, trying them out possessions. This will test the metal of a Woodlawn team that has won a lot here in this one. Absolutely. I mean, you, you want to play in games like these. There's no doubt about it. And we talked that week in a pregame show about rivals. And Odin has been knocking on the door of Woodlawn for several years now, being in this conference. And maybe, you know, this could be the night. Things got off to a slow start for them, but they picked it up. They're in control right now with under four to go. Odin across the timeline. Margaret with it on the right side. Now on the left wing to quick. Mike Finkbone, you got to give him all the credit in the world in this Odin team. They have been very good. Now Odin will pull back. They lost to Woodlawn by 31 points on the road in December. Chase Phelps kicked it halfway down the court. Those of you on your smartphones to our right need to pay attention. If you get concussed with it, you get hit in the head as wow. somebody's looking around like, did that ball come this way? I was on my phone. Is there a basketball game going on? Yeah, there's a basketball game going on. Phelps kicked it. It was wide left for those Florida State and Miami fans from way back when. And now Odin will trigger the inbound. That'll be quick, or Horton, I should say, in front of the home side of the bleachers. He's going to throw it into the backcourt to Wood. He has been a heck of a good player tonight. He's got 14. Wood comes back to the right around Phelps. Now right, ball tip. Now Wood gets the back stolen away. Owens. Owens will bring it into the front court. He's going to go himself to the rim. Layup, no good. Robinson got away with the shove. No good in the foul. Oh, goodness. Robinson got a nice little one-arm stiff in like that. I can, if, I could, if you could do that or I could do that, I can still rebound. Refs didn't, officials didn't see that. Robinson will go line and shoot, too. Just one little push like that. And to be greedy on that, you wanted that to go in. Well, yeah, you're you right, it, though. That right, right, you know, exactly. When that shot goes up, you got to get that nudge as soon as that shot goes up. That's what he did. He's a savvy player. Played a lot of big games. Misses that free throw. He'll get another. He's trying to tie it up. You just got a feeling if Odin's got the last shot, Woodlawn's going to walk out of here in second play. You have that feeling right now. Robinson will have another to try to tie it. Shooting into the stage on this end, no good. Missing both rebound, knee potter. Ruh-roh. Squeaky, squeaky. Owens fucked off knee potter. Now gets to Horton at the elbow. Double team, throws it away. Woodlaw with another chance. Owens into the front court. Gets fouled by Mr. Wood. That's three on him. Ross Owens to the line. And everybody is shooting two the rest of the way on free throws, unless it's, of course, a player control foul. Woodlawn holds for four in their last free throw attempt. Well, you never know. First free throw, Ross Owens. Claims the iron and drops down. We're tied at 37. Shoot, we may go overtime now. You just never know what's going to happen here in this one. I mean, it is crazy. You just never know what's going to happen. Second free throw, Owens is good. He has 11. 38-37. Freshman steps up and gives Woodmon the lead. Cross, or sophomore, I should say. I try to give him an extra year. Red shirt here. Back door pass. Lob Owens stocked it down. Williams recovered on the right side. Right corner, he dribbles out. Skip pass left wing to Wood. Wood has it with 249 to go. Woodmon leads 38-37. Margram down the lane on the runner around Robinson. Block Harris. Rebound Robinson. Heyman will bring it up. Oh, goodness gracious, the tenth since in the gym. Hasn't been this tenth in a while. Heyman with it on the left wing to Phelps. Phelps holds it to wait. Woodlawn patient with a one-point lead. Heyman with it with 2.25 to go to Owens. Shane Whistle yelling instructions to Harris in the corner. He's double T. Gets baseline. Has to pick it up. Spins around to Heyman. Heyman has it on the wing. Now top of the key to Owens. 2.12 to go. Woodlawn leads by one. 38-37. Woodlawn running clock. Odin to our left clapping defense. Woodlawn fans on their hands. Heyman lost it. Off Robinson out of bounds. 2.02 to go. Another turnover for the Cardinals. And if it's listen, you're just grinding it out here, you know, with your headsets on, and you think, you know, that extra pass right there, kick it back out, nothing changed in the defensive end, but yet the turnover happened. Is it too early for Odin to hold for the final one? We'll see. Quick has in the left corner to Williams. Top of the key, right wing Wood. Would Odin run it down? Oh, they found it underneath. They didn't have to. Martin got lost defensively and made the layup, and Odin back up by one, 39-38. Owens in the backcourt to Hayman. Hayman will bring it up. 
a senior who's never lost a game in this tournament. Woodlawn's never lost one either. Owens on the right side. Cardinals down one. We're under 90 seconds to go. Odin's with it, or I should say defensively. Hateman on the left wing. Woodlawn, a lot of standing around. Harris with it to Owens. Owens has it. Owens back door, lot pass. Phelps off his hands out of bounds. Risk taking not happening tonight for the Cardinals. Another turnover for the red, white, and blues. So you call for the ball, you better be sure that, you know, it's it's in your wheelhouse with substitutions taking place now for Odin to get a little more quickness in. And now you're looking at Odin with their ball handling skills right now. Uh, that possibility of holding for this last one to mm-hmm. make themselves go to the free throw line, you know, it's reality right now with 115, and I'm not sure why we have stoppage yeah, play. Yeah, Horton can't come in yet. He was out on the right. dead ball, and they tried to slide him back in. The referee's called it. So Coach Fingbo's laughing about it. Yeah. He goes, I tried to get you, and then it wouldn't work. Odin quickly in the front court, and Epotter on the right wing. Ball tip stolen away. Owen. Owen's on the steal. Down the lane he comes. He's going to go to the foul stolen away, and Epotter. He just double dribble. I mean, he caught the ball, dribble, picked it up, and kept going. One minute to go, Knee Potter in the front court. Ball rolls to the right wing to Wood. He splits defenders to the rim, forced the shot, no call. Rebound Harris to Owen. Here comes Wood. He's going to look for a foul and does. I knew he was going to get it. He was frustrated. He followed Owens. Owens put on the air brake. And Owens will go line to shoot two to try to give Woodlawn a one-point lead with 50 seconds to go. What a smart play right there. Knew there was going to be contact. He just crossed over dribble, held his ground, controlled the basketball, and waited for the foul to take place. Oh, my goodness gracious. Free throw, no good. Two shot free throw, guys. You are all sleeping anyway, so it's going to have to be two. 50 seconds left to go. Owens at the line. Sando, I should say Odin. That was Tuesday night. Odin leads 39-38. Ross Owens trying to tie it here with 50 seconds to go. Everything quiet. Free throw, good. We're tied at 38. Oh, my goodness. We are. The knife was tied at 39. Knee potter the wood into the front court. Wood comes to the top of the key. Coach Green Bone says spread it out. They throw it to Quick in the left corner. Harris guards Quick. He dribbles to the top of the key. He goes left corner, knee potter. Back throw pass stolen away by Owens. With 33 seconds left, Woodlawn's going to have the final attempt. 30 seconds to go. Get it across the center line at about 15 or 12. We'll take a timeout. There you go. A little bit early. You did very time. well. Can you also tell us the lottery numbers tonight? As well, 24.2 seconds to go. Woodlawn tied with Odin at 39. Timeout, and the ball will be at center court. Referee is sitting here talking to us. They have done a pretty good job here tonight, keeping this one in check. It got a little frisky at one point, but got back in line. Boy, Michael, this is one of those you just never know. Absolutely. Right now, Shane Lips is just, you know, he's just going over little details. First things first. Get the ball inbound. That's the first thing. Be sure you get it to a guard. And then you just got to run the offense. You got you got 24 seconds. You're going to go at about 8 or 9, something like that, 10. You give yourself an opportunity. Depends on whether you're looking for the layup or the kick out. You go for the layup a little later in the clock. That way it gives yourself an offensive rebound opportunity. You go for a kick out, you know, you can try to bury that thing right at the buzzer then because you're no worse than going into overtime. Ooh. From experience, it's usually the second shot on the after the first one that usually goes in. Saw that a couple weeks ago. That's what usually happens. You have to be prepared to box out. You have to be prepared to go to the rim because you don't want somebody sneaking in behind you if you're Odin. If you're Woodlawn, you'd hope that if the first one goes in. If not, you can follow it on the second. Both teams next will shoot two free throws unless it's player control. Harris will trigger side out of bounds by the Woodlawn bench. Harris was going to throw it into Owens. They covered him up. They get it into Hateman in the front court. They're going to deny Owens the ball. Nope, they'll drop off. Hateman with 18 seconds. Woodlawn has a play. Hateman will look, and Coach Whistle stands up and starts yelling instructions. And Hateman goes to the middle with 10 seconds. Hateman with eight to Owens with seven. You got to get a body to somebody. Hateman with five to Owens. They're going to shoot a three for the win. It's no good. Robinson tip. We're going to overtime. Overtime at, here at the Midland Trail Conference Tournament. We'll keep it here. Tied at 39. Wow. Surprised that Odin Woodlawn settled for a three there. But 
they did get a shot and they did run it down. Mike or Odin didn't have enough time to do anything with it. Yeah, I guess the only the only thing you think about also in a situation like that is if you do a kick out, you know, from that ten or twelve foot range, and you do miss, you're more apt to try to go over the back. You know, and not give up that bad foul right there in that situation, which. An official has to do his job. If it's a foul, then it's a foul, then. Yep. Woodlawn knows if they get the kick out all the way up, knock down a three, you know, you're going to have a longer rebound, possibly not go over anybody's back to make sure it goes in or you play four more minutes. They elect to shoot and, and go four more minutes for us tonight. We're in overtime. We're in overtime. Woodlawn, I think, at this point, has got to be lucky to be in overtime. I think if you're over, you wanted to win it in regulation. And we'll, we'll see. Maybe something will change. But, again, Woodlawn and Odin are tied at 39. We head into the first three, four minutes of basketball. And this has been a dandy. I don't think anybody that pulled in this gym tonight thought this would be close, except for those guys wearing jerseys that say Odin on the front. Phelps will jump center against Horton. We did this at 7 o'clock, which was about an hour and 17 minutes ago. Overtime for the title. Phelps will win the tip, and Harris gets it. Woodlawn will start with the basketball in this possession. Owens will bring it across the timeline. This Woodlawn team beat Odin 60-29 to December 17th. They're in overtime right now. Owens back behind the three-point line to Hateman. Hateman in the corner to Harris. Back to Hateman. Who can take the shot? Who wants to take a shot? Owens in the lane. Backdoor cutter. Phelps left good. There's relief for the Woodlawn Cardinals. And there's a warning by the Cardinals. And Phelps has got to leave the ball alone. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's an easy call. We that was it. obvious. Yep. That was a good call. Can't touch the ball once it goes to the cylinder if you score. Got to leave it alone. Now, now you got to leave it alone. Get caught again at the T. And now Odin has it down two with 3.37 to go. They have not phased or been phased in this pressure. Williams to the left wing on the dribble. Throws it in the left corner to Quick. Quick down the left side to the lane, down the rim. Shot block, Hateman off the iron. Tipped out to Williams, left wing. Odin will do it again. Wood left baseline around Harris over Robinson. Shot short, rebound Owens. Owens with the basketball. How many lives do the Cardinals have in this tournament? They are going through some here tonight. That's for sure if they were a cat. Hateman with it on the left wing. Odin very passive defensively. Three minutes to go here in the first overtime. Owens to Harris. He'll shoot a three. It will not go. Phelps on the board underneath. Oh, loose the ball through his legs, and it goes to Owens, and he scores. Phelps was going to power up. The ball lost there. It went between his legs like he snapped it football wide, and Owens scores. Odin down four, 43-39, 2.40 to go. Wood with it to Williams' left wing. He's going to try to pull Odin back with him one and done. Wow. Williams with a big three. And Odin back to within one, just about the time you thought you could breathe. Odin presses. Woodlawn's got to get it across. Hateman to Owen. Nobody home. Owen's time might have had it taken away. Oh, quick snuck in from behind, took it away. Odin for the lead, layup up, and no good. Tipped out. Oh, my goodness. Hateman with a rebound. Woo! Sleepy time here for the Cardinals. My word. How in the world are they up by one? Woodlawn has have no idea. No Hateman with it on the left wing. To Owens, top of the key. Ross to the corner, Harris. Harris going to launch another one for the answer. No good. Rebound goes to Odin. That's Wood with it up the right side. Not the shot Woodlawn needed there, I don't believe. Wood to William. No, they have to cut it off to Knee Potter. Top of the key. Robinson fouled Knee Potter on the shot fake. And that'll send Knee Potter to the line to shoot two. Robinson has four. He joins Ross Owens with four. Only so many times you can do things and not keep a lead. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, they're they're on the tightrope right now. There's no doubt about it. Shot selection here in overtime not been the best for the Cardinals that we've seen in the past. I mean, good wide open looks, I know, but, you know, you got to knock those shots down. Maybe skip past that over one more time. Give them an option as the free throws knocked down and we're tied at 43. And it's not like Odin is playing... Man to man in your shirt defense. It's a late back zone, and Nee Potter hits them both. He has 12. If they had all conference teams picked already, you better sh- throw away the ballot. Hateman to Robinson to Owens, top of the key. Over to Harris, baseline. Phelps, back to Harris, to Owens. Owens, top of the key. 
Owens backs up on the dribble, spins top of the key, now goes left wing to Harris. Harris to Owens, dangerous pass. Now to Haveman. Haveman with it. They can't get anything inside. They go to Owens. Owens will launch a three up and in. Big three lost Owens. Five in overtime. 46-44. 115 to go. Williams top of the key left wing. On the dribble between the circle. Williams comes to the left. Double T picks it up. Right wing to Wood as Odin very laid back. Left wing to Williams, down the corner quick. Just three on the way, off the mark. The rebound goes to Horton for Odin. Three, Wood for the lead. Good. Gavin Wood knocks down a three. He has 17. It's 47-46. How many times can Woodlawn get away with something? Hayman got bumped pretty good. No call. Harris in the front court. Now on the left wing. He's going to pick up the dribble. Now to Hayman at the left elbow. 35 seconds left. Woodlawn down one. Owens for an answer. Up. No good. Not the shot. And Woodlawn won it. Rebound Wood for Odin with 30 seconds. He double dribbled. Oh, wow. Odin got the timeout. 29.3 seconds. Odin called the timeout just as Wood French curled the ball. And Odin has it with 29 seconds left. And this is one of those cases, Mike, yeah, as I said earlier in the game, if Odin has the lead or has the ball late, you don't feel comfortable right now. No, absolutely not right now. Woodlawn going through the scouting report. This is where Scott Owens comes into play. They know who they need to try to foul right now in this situation. That's what they're going over. I mean, you go for the steal early. There's only 30 some odd picks on the clock. You got to be ready. So go for the steal early. If you don't get it, you got to start the parade of putting them at the free throw line here tonight. Odin is up. 28 seconds left. Woodlawn has not played well, but Odin has played very well. And it is definitely an Odin type of game. Odin right, Odin right now in this second half, including overtime, they have made their last seven free throws. Yep. But it's done what needs to be done. It's going to be Phelps, Hayman, Blake, Wallerman, Robinson, and Owen. And Woodlawn right now, down one. They'll have to try to go for a steal and then foul, I would think. They're going to back off and play five on four. They throw it into the backcourt to Mr. Quick. He's one to go get because he hasn't shot a free throw. Quick into the front court. Wallerman comes up, misses that. Knee potter underneath. They go to Horton down the lane foul by Robinson. He's done. And Quick, or Horton will go to the line. He's not been there either. That's an option. Oh, that foul's on Hateman. So Hateman has four. I thought it was on Robinson. And that will send... Chase Horton to the line to shoot two. And this one has turned out to be a dandy here. First free throw by Mr. Horton is up and in. It is a two-point deficit Woodlaw with 19 seconds left. Harris in for Wallerman. That's Blake. He sits out. Next free throw for Horton would be huge. It would put Odin up three with 19 seconds left. You cannot give up things like Woodlawn has done tonight and then lose it. Horton makes both. Timeout, Odin. 19.3 seconds left. 49-46. Woodlawn down three. And we're in overtime with this time left of 19 seconds. Well, Odin's in a nice situation right now. Three-point lead, block on their favor. Knowing Woodlawn, any attempt now, they've got to put their good free throw shooters at the line. Odin's got an opportunity now. It's still a two-shot foul. They get a good set. They can foul on the court, take their chances, depending on what the clock will allow them to do time-wise. You can have Woodlawn at the free throw line shooting a couple versus knocking down that three at the buzzer to try to go for the tie. It is not what Woodlawn wanted. Back on December 17th, Woodlawn beat Odin 60-29 to at home. That was a 31-point win. Odin has a three-point lead with 19 seconds left and an opportunity to stop a five-year run of the Woodlawn Cardinals winning the Midland Trail Conference Tournament. This would be a wake-up call of epic proportions for the guys in the white shirt. Epic. You're, you're correct, right, the way they've had the success here. And you can do nothing but look at Odin and say, hey, they have done it. 18 seconds.
seconds. Woodlawn's got to go. Aitman into the front court. Are they going to go for the three and a tie? Owens is going to go to the rim. Owens passes off Robinson. Layup good. Timeout, Woodlawn. They are going to be down one with 9.7 seconds left. This is not what is going on. Nine seconds left. Odin has the basketball. Woodlawn down 49 48. Odin will have length of the floor to go. Mike, if you don't get a steal, you almost have to foul and take your chances again. It's got to be immediate. If, if whoever has the ball, it doesn't matter. You've got to get them to, to make that long walk all the way down there instead of that free throw line down and look into that net and knock down a couple of free throws. Right now, Woodlawn Cardinals, not only that, but the clock itself. In nine seconds, they've got to be quick, and they can't afford now some back pick being set here, a long toss over the top and running four, five, six seconds off that clock. Woodlawn's got to keep people right in front of them. Now, this is a situation where you've got to wonder, you know, coming over after you beat a team like you did in December, how focused Woodlawn was. A lot of turnovers here. Still nine seconds left to go. Mike Finkbone trying to pull off one of the biggest upsets around. Woodlawn trying to survive to win a sixth in a row. Woodlawn had led this quarter by four, and Odin stormed back for this overtime period. 9.7 seconds left. It'll be Mr. Gavin Wood, the trigger in front of us. He will be able to run the baseline. He will look. Woodlawn pressuring, of course, in the backcourt. They lob over the top too quick. Into the front court. Woodlawn's got to give the foul. Now they give the foul. Aitman fouls out. They had to give the foul. They couldn't wait any longer. Aitman will foul out with five points. Well, I mean, a little slow on the trigger there on the clock. Still 6.2 seconds now to go. Uh, that, that was good. Williams at the line has not been there all night. He has an opportunity to make it a three-point game and have a tie at the most. First free throw, no good. Front rim. This one probably probably will be long, if I had to guess, since he front rimmed that That's what normally happens. 6.2 to go. Woodlawn. We'll see what happens here. If Williams makes it, we'll see. Williams free throw misses. Rebound Robinson. Owens in the front row with four. Owens down the lane, goes to the rim, shot short, it's over. Odin has stopped the streak of the Woodlawn Cardinals, 49-48. The 17-game winning streak and the five-time MTC champions in a row have been dethroned. Odin, 49. Woodlawn, 48. We will take a break, come back with the Special Auto Body Post Game Show. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. A coach house garage is money well spent On craftsmanship that's sure to get compliments Don't cut corners on your garage, it adds value to your home That's why you need to see the professionals at Coach House Garages Choose from a variety of Coach House Garage designs Or they'll build one to your design For a dealer near you, check the yellow pages in Mount Vernon Or go online to coachhousegarages.com More than just a garage More than just a garage It's a Coach House the batter's box in Woodlawn has 17-foot ceilings with a half basketball court, full-length batting cage, pitching machine, and climate control for year-round use. The batter's box is a great place for basketball, baseball, or softball practice with active clinics and lessons in the spring and fall. Contact Scott Smith at 316-1437 to reserve the batter's box for your team or party. Speaking of parties, plan your next birthday party with the batter's box. Located at 614 North Main in Woodlawn. Call 316-1437 for prices and availability. 
Drive home the savings. Get the auto insurance protection you need at a price you can afford. When you get a car insurance quote, your State Farm agent Scott Owens will help you get all the discounts you deserve and give you three different package options to choose from. Or you can customize your coverage so it's the perfect fit. With all this, it's clear why more drivers trust State Farm more than any other auto insurer. Get to a better state. See Scott Owens on 1810 Broadway in Mount Vernon or call 242-3770. Is your concrete driveway or maybe your sidewalk cracked, unsightly, or even non-existent? Let Rolly's Excavating and Cement Finishing in Woodlawn be a part of your home or business renovation in the new year. A true family-owned and operated local business, Rolly's Excavating specializes in dirt excavation and hauling, residential and commercial concrete jobs, too. There's nothing these guys can't do. Get a free quote by calling Luke Rolly at 237-0552. That's 237-0552. Rolly's Excavating and Cement Finishing. They get dirty so you you don't have to. Call Luke today. Sessor Auto Body would like to take a moment to remind everyone driving to and from the game to drive safe and be alert. Sometimes events happen beyond your control. When it does, take your vehicle to the collision pros. Sessor Auto Body is pre-approved by most insurance companies throughout Southern Illinois. This allows them to get the parts ordered quicker, getting you back on the road faster and in showroom condition. Sessor Auto Body, 602 South Park in Sessor or call 625-3523. That's 625 625- 3523. This is the showcase on WMIX. The Cesar Auto Body Post Game Show starts now. Final score here at the MTC tournament tonight. Woodlawn loses 49-48. In overtime to Odin, the 17-game Midland Trail Conference Tournament winning streak is over. The five-year run of the Woodlawn Cardinals winning this championship is also over here in this one as Woodlawn goes down to defeat here, 49-48 in overtime. This is the Central Auto Body Post Game Show. Sometimes things happen in an automobile that are beyond your control. When they do take your vehicle to Setzer Auto Body, they can get you on the road quicker in showroom condition. Setzer Auto Body, 602 South Park in Setzer. Congratulations to the Woodlawn cheerleading team. They win the first place trophy here at the MCC tournament as well. Also, congratulations here to the following players who have made the all-conference team as we go through here. You'll hear the complete list here as they announce the players from both sides. And we'll give those here before we take our second break as they go through. As you hear going on as we go through. They are about wrapped up. As Woodlawn and Odin are trying to collect the the hardware. And the tournament MVP is Ryan Neeprotter from Odin. And, boy, he played a heck of a game tonight. So here's your all-tournament team list. And here it is. The all-tournament team will go in order by the program that we have. From Sisney, Jaden Hatcher. From Grayville, Colton Aldridge. From North Clay, Garrett Rootson. From Odin, it was Devin Williams, Gavin Wood, and the MVP of the tournament, Ryan Neeprotter. And from Waltonville, Hunter Coggins, Justin Winchester. From Wayne City, Billy Irwin. And from Woodlawn, Chase Phelps, Jake Robinson, and Ross Owens. We'll go through those here in a little bit again. But that's the all-tournament team. Overtime, Woodlawn loses 49-48. We'll take a break and come back with scoring and stats. You're listening to Woodlawn Cardinals Basketball in the Showcase on WMIX. Don't just dream about a better job. Go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Rend Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.edu. There's still time to save during the cleanup sale at Newell Furniture and the General Store in Woodlawn. Get an extra 15 to 20% off your favorite furniture from Lazy Boy, Flex Steel, Sealy Posture Beauty Bedding, Broyhill, Universal, Bedrooms, Dining Rooms, and more. Clean up on savings at Newell's General Store with 75% off all remaining holiday, 50% off all gym Shore collection, lotions, scarves, purses, plus 15 to 25% off everything else. Newell's, cleaning up to save you more. 
Your spine is a miracle of engineering, so when pain strikes, your body is telling you to get help fast. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois is proud to feature their spine care team. Doctors Kowalski and Smith, the professionals at Orthopedic Center, specialize in back and neck pain. So put our spine care team on the job. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. Stop the pain, fix the problem, and enjoy life again. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. We're worldwide. This is the showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Presented by Community First Bank. Welcome back to the Cesar Autobody Post Game Show. Cesar Autobody reminds you to drive safe on the way home for the ninth game. Next time you have an accident, see the collision pros at Cesar Autobody to get back on the road faster. Cesar Autobody, 602 South Park in Cesar. The all tournament team will go through again as our scoreboard update, Mike. And we'll go through and read the names from Sifney, Jaden Hatcher. From Grayville, Colton Aldridge. From North Clay, Garrett Rubson. From Odin, it was Gavin Wood, Devin Williams, and MVP Ryan Niepotter. From Waltonville, Hunter Coggins and Justin Winchester. From Wayne City, Billy Irwin. And from Woodlawn, Chase Phelps, Jake Robinson, and Ross Owens. That all-tournament update, of course. And also, congratulations to the Woodlawn cheerleading team. They are the champions of the MTC cheerleading trophy as well. That scoreboard update brought to you by Scott Owens and State Farm Insurance. Give them a call at 242-3770 to get to a better state. I right, will turn it over to Mike Richardson. He has the scoring and stats of this one that will tell you the tale of why the Odin Eagles won the Midland Trail Conference Championship. Thanks very much, Danny. And for the Odin Eagles, they improved to 12-2 and on the season. A lot of games left for them to play this year with all the snow and the bad weather we had. They end up with 18 rebounds in the ball game. That's a low number. Woodlawn dominated the glass 31 to 18. 14 turnovers. They played a real clean first half. A little help for Skelter. That second half, they had 10 turnovers. They shoot at 11 out of 29 regular shooting, 5 out of 15 behind the arc. That totals 16 for 44. Overall, 36% shooting. But they make hay at the free throw line. They go 9 of 13 in the second half. Total that up to 12 out of 18. That's 75% free throw shooting in the fourth quarter and second half of action, including overtime. Scoring, six big points for Horton. He did not score. Excuse me, that was Devin Williams on two threes. Big threes for him. It's his six points all in the second half. Six points for Horton. Eight for Margram. 12 for Nia Potter, who was the MVP in the tournament, had a great tournament. He made four straight free throws down the stretch. And Gavin Wood never let off the gas pedal. He had a great first half with eight points. He had nine points in the second half, a couple of rebounds, thrown in some real good defense, made his last two free throws the biggest of the night. He leads the Odin Eagles in scoring with his 17. And for the Woodlawn Cardinals, as I mentioned, dominated the glass. 31 rebounds, 19 turnovers. Boy, that just that takes your shot selections away from you. You just don't get as many shots. They only shoot at 15 out of 26. That's a good percentage right there, but you total that 3 of 15 behind the arc. Now you're down to 18 for 41. That's only 40%, 46% shooting tonight. And they just can't make free throws down the stretch. They missed their last four free throws. And they shoot a total of 9 for 14 for only 64%. And that's the ball game tonight. It comes down to free throw shooting. And the Cardinals fall a little short. No bench scoring. And you look at that first game, Danny, they had probably nine guys in the scoring call, maybe if not ten. And only starters scored tonight. Two points from Logan Wallerman, only five for Jason Hateman. Nine for Chase Phelps and the double digit scoring for the Cardinals. Jake Robinson did a great job filling the lanes on the breakouts from Ross Owens, receiving some great passes from him. He has 15 points to go along with 
nine rebounds tonight. Ross Owens has five rebounds end up, and he's the leading scorer for the Woodlawn Cardinals tonight with 17 points. As Woodlawn falls short, they fall tonight 14-3 and three on the season, and they drop a hard-fought thriller 49-48 to the Olden Eagles, the champions of the Midland Trail Conference Tournament. Well, it's one of those deals, and we've we'll, we got to take one more break, but it's one of those deals. Five years, one year is one thing, two, three, four, five is another. And Woodlawn ran out of lives here tonight. They gave up the ball too many times, didn't defend, too many fouls, let Odin hang around. And we all know when the favorite lets the underdog hang around all night, the underdog over there in Odin became the favorite because they play with such great confidence. Swagger made the shots down the stretch, and Mike Finkbone waves at us, and he did an outstanding job here tonight in leading the Odin Eagles to a 49-48 overtime win over the Woodlawn Cardinals. We need to take a break and come back. We'll pick our Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. You're listening to the Woodlawn Cardinals on the showcase on WMIX. Is your concrete driveway or maybe your sidewalk cracked, unsightly, or even non-existent? Let Rolly's Excavating and Cement Finishing in Woodlawn be a part of your home or business renovation in the new year. A true family-owned and operated local business, Rolly's Excavating specializes in dirt excavation and hauling, residential and commercial concrete jobs, too. There's nothing these guys can't do. Get a free quote by calling Luke Rolly at 237-0552. That's 237-0552. Rolly's Excavating and Cement Finishing. They get dirty so you don't have to. Call Luke today. Raise your hand if you're tired of showing up for a service appointment only to sit around a waiting room. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer at King City Chrysler Center. Our express lane fast oil changes and more provide quick, convenient service with no appointment needed. Our specialists are on hand to wait on you with lanes dedicated just for your oil changes, tire rotation, brake inspections, batteries, bulbs, wiper blades, air filter replacements, and more. We will also perform complimentary vehicle inspection with every oil change. We work around your schedule, open weekdays from 7.30 until 5, and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until noon. See Express Lane Fast Oil Changes and more for all of your service needs, and we will get you back on the road quick. We're located at King City Crisis Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, Just another reason you can count on us. Mount Vernon is home to many wonderful people and things, and that includes quality cardiac care from Dr. Ruzek Ibrahim. A skilled cardiologist, Dr. Ibrahim's training and scientific accomplishments have earned his designation as a Fellow of the American College of Cardiology. His services range from preventative care to the treatment of advanced heart conditions. For an appointment with Dr. Ibrahim at Crossroads Specialty Clinic, call 241-9071 or visit in person at 4113 South Water Tower, Mount Vernon. This is the showcase presented by Community First Bank. Final segment of the night brings us to the Crossroads Community Hospital player of the game. And Mike and I talked about it all fairly. They've shut the lights off. That's a direct hint to get out of the gym. So we're going to make it quick. Mike, you and I talked about it. We picked two. Yeah, we'll do co tonight because of the tournament situation and the format with the all tournament team. And these two guys fed off of each other. All night tonight, I mean, the breakouts off that press with Ross handling the ball, getting into the middle, and Jake Robinson doing such a great job of filling the lane. The lines are Ross Owens, five rebounds, countless uh, assists, three out of six regular shooting, two of seven behind the arc, five of six free throwing for his 17 points, and Jake Robinson, nine rebounds, six of eight shooting, uh, three of seven at the free throw line for his 15 points. So, Cole players of the game, Crossroads Community Hospital players of the game, Ross Owens and Jake Robinson. Crossroads Community Hospital reminds you why wait hours in other emergency rooms. Crossroads Community Hospital emergency department pledge to be seen by physician within 30 minutes of your arrival. And uh, Mike, it's one of those deals you hate to see all things come to an end. You hate to see things like that, whatever happened, but... uh, it is what it is, and unfortunately for the Woodlawn Cardinals, the five-year streak, 17 games done and over with, and you have to shake it off and move on, or this kind of loss that can get you the rest of the way. Yeah, and, and you look at it, and we talked about, you know, the, the the conference and the tournament and things like that, and, you know, they had the longer streak with the conference regular season games one and whatever, and that's part of basketball. How many times do you think when you go to a basketball and girls see something different? 
We ever seen a three point play what Jake Robinson did tonight, piggybacking off that guy. We ever seen Chase Phelps get a rebound like that, flip it between his legs, accidentally go to Ross Owens for an assist. He gets an assist on that. You know, and those are two circus plays that you don't see. And we try to tell all of our listeners, we see things and we go to a zillion ball games a year and you'll always see something. And the effort from the Old Eagles tonight yeah, it was just off the charts. They give it everything they got, and they were victorious. And this is just a good wake-up call for the Woodlawn Cardinals. They can start a new streak next week. Yep. And this one's over. Congratulations to Mike Finkbone and the Odin Eagles. They deserved it. They are the winners tonight in this Midland Trail Conference Tournament Championship game in overtime, 49-48. For Holly Carroll back in the studio, for Mike Richardson, I'm Danny Zwinski signing off tonight. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. You can also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. And a scoreboard update will come later on tonight at WMIXports.com. Final score in overtime, Odin 49, Woodlawn 48. Thank you for listening, and good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to the WMIX Basketball Showcase on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. The Showcase is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. The Showcase is also sponsored in part by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. The Collision Pros at Cesar Auto Body. Rolly Excavating. Newell Furniture and the General Store in Woodlawn. Red Lake College. It's time. Visit your virtual counselor at rlc.edu and by Coach House Garages, Ford Square, King City Chrysler. You can count on us. The Batter Spots in Woodlawn, the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, State Farm Agent Scott Owens. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And People's National Bank. For inside information before, during, and after the game, log on to WMIXSports.com or find us on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We are your home for news, talk, sports, and today's hot country, WMIX.